ताधस्य ज्ञानंजन शलाकय चक्षुरोन्मील येन तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित येन भूतले स्वयं रूप कदा मह्यम ददाती स्वदाक नमा विष्णुपदा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चातरिणे नमा विष्णुपदा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती नामिने श्रीवाषभानवी देवी दायिताय कृपाध कृष्ण संबंध विज्ञान दायिने प्रभव नम माधुर्योज्वल प्रेमाढ़ीरूपाभक्तिद श्रीगौराकुणाशक्ति विग्रहाय नमोस्तुते नमस्ते गौरवाणी श्रीमूर्त दीनतारिणे रूपाग विरुद्ध अपसिद्धांत ध्वांतहारिणे नमो गौरकिशोराय साक्षादराग्यमूर्त विप्रलंभ रसाबोधे पादुजा ते नम नमो भक्ति विनोदाय सच्चिदानंद नामिने गौरशक्ति स्वरूपाय रूपाग वराय ते गौर आविर्भावूमिस्व निर्दिष्टा सज्जन प्रिय वैष्णव सार्वभौम श्रीजगन्नाथाय ते नम वाचाकुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम नमो महावदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय ते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाने गौर तषे नम पंचतवात्मक कृष्ण भक्तस्वक भक्तावतारम भक्ताख्यम नमा भक्तशक्ति हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्तुते जयता सुरत पंगोर मम मंद मतिर्गति मत्सर्वस्व पदाबोज राधा मदन मोहनो दिव्या दृंदारण्यकद्रुमाद श्रीमद्रत्नागार सिंहासनस्थ श्रीमद्राधा श्रीलगोविंद देव पृष्ठालिभि सेव्यम स्मरा श्रीमान्रा सरसारंभि वंशी वट तटस्थित कर्षण वेणु स्वर्णेर्गोपी गोपीनाथाय श्रेयस्तु नह तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवास आदि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हम्म दैट्स द स्पिरिट एंड द सोल इज देयर देन सम साउंड कम्स सोल इज सोल लीव्स द बॉडी नो साउंड कम्स सो वी वांट लाइवली डिवोटीज अ लाइव डिवोटीज ऑलरेडी द स्ट्रेंथ इज वेरी लेस एंड द हॉल इज टू ह्यूज आइडियली 2000 स्टूडेंट्स शुड बी देयर इन दिस क्लास बट नो प्रॉब्लम ट्वेंटी आर ऑल्सो नॉट देर टू मोर देन टू आर देर गुड सो वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर अवर डिस्कशन ऑन श्रीमद भागवतम एज अ पार्ट ऑफ अवर भक्ति वैभव यू हैव डिस्कस टिल फिफ्टीन चैप्टर विच इज द पांडवाज रिटायर टाइमली विल बी बिगिनिंग फ्रॉम सिक्सटींथ एंड देन गो इन सेवनटींथ एटींथ नाइनटींथ दैट विल बी द एंड ऑफ द फर्स्ट कैंटो we have four days we have five days and uh, four chapters and in all i need one uh, that what is subodini if you have somebody has 
just for the flow nobody has okay get it so this chapter has 36 verses next has 45 then that for next 17 chapter is punishment and reward of kali then 18 chapter which is Parikshit cursed by a Brahman boy. It has around 50 verses. And the last chapter is the appearance of Shukdev Goswami. That is having 40 verses. So in all we have 171 verses and we have 5 days. So every day we could give a cover 34. So today we will try to complete this chapter. And little bit here and there. But we have to complete the 4 chapters. In the last chapter, Shukdev Goswami will appear. Just like earlier in the fourth chapter, that was the appearance of Shilanarad Muni. Isn't it? So he appears only in the last uh, verse or so, towards the end of that chapter. Before that, the discussion is there other things. But then he does appear there. Similarly, Shukdev Goswami is also going to appear. So these are the other verses, discussion between Sutta Goswami and other sages of Naimi Sharanya. Who had had begin begun that uh, sacrifice for a long time? That reference will also come in this uh, chapters only. Why they could perform that sacrifice? So we will begin with the sixteenth chapter, which is entitled "How Parikshit Received the Age of Kali." First four verses are about uh, king's duty. It is also Sutta Goswami is speaking to Shonagadi Rushis. We will not recite all the verses. As per the time, whatever we will do. And important verses will definitely... All are important, but some are like what they call golden verses, diamond verses. So they have to be recited anyway. So the first verse, please repeat. Sutta Uvacha Tataha parekshid vijavarya shikshaya Mahim mahabhagavataha shashasaha Yatahi sutyam abhijata kovidaha Samadishan vipra mahad gunas tatha Translation and purport by his divine grace Abhicharan Arvind Bhakti Vedanta Swami Shila Prabhupada. Translation, Sutta Goswami said, O learned Brahmans, Maharaj Parikshit then began to rule over the world as a great devotee of the Lord under the instructions of the best of the twice-born Brahmans. He ruled by those great qualities which were foretold by expert astrologers at the time of his death, at the time of his birth. So anybody remembers which were the qualities that were uh, described? You take the mic. You have the mic, hmm? He will be as truthful as Lord Ramchandra. Hmm. Then? He will be like a bowman like Arjun. Hmm. Yes. He will give charity as Maharaj Nimi. Hmm. Shibi. Maharaj. Shibi. Hmm. He will be like a son of Ishwaku. Uh, Which son? Uh, like a, he will be son of, like a Bharat. Uh, Bharat, uh, son of son, Bash, uh, Dushanta. Dushanta. Dushanta Maharaj. Hmm. Any other? Be tolerant like uh, Ranti Dev. Hmm. He will be irresistible like fire and uh, unsurp unsurpassable like ocean. Jai. You are all Shruti <laughs> That was in previous month and you still remember. I tell like Arjun. <laughs> I can't remember what was spoken one, two hours back. Mm. I tell like Arjun. Mm. <laughs> Bowman also like Arjun and fighter also like Arjun. <laughs> Hopefully it is all true. You only tell me whether it is true or not. I don't. Oh, you had exam. Oh, all glories to exams. Mm. Only one, two devotees remained. If they remember some quality, they may tell. They can add also. <laughs> add means... Something new. Hmm. 
he will be like uh, his uh, four fathers in ruling the country hmm. correct yes so in this chapter he says there are five sections first four are about parikshit ideal ruler punishes kali and in that the first two verses are about married daughter of king uh he married the daughter of king uttar and we got four sons headed by janmejay so just this one talked about his ruling only by the qualities that were foretold during his birth in the purport prabhupada says the real qualification is to become a devotee of the lord and gradually all the good qualities worthy of possession develop which was यस्यास्ति भक्तिर्भगवती अकिंचन सर्वैर्गुणस्तत्र सामसते सुर हराव अभक्त कुतो महदुण मनोरथे न सति धाव बहि वेर डज इट अपियर फिफ्थ कैंटो विच चैप्टर फिफ्थ कैंटो मे बी ट्वेल्थ चैप्टर एटीन दोस इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग और मे बी एटीन चैप्टर mostly 12.18 whatever so he says that yasasti bhaktir bhagavati akinchana one has unalloyed devotional service to the lord sarvair gunes tatra samasate suraha sura means the demigods all their good qualities demigods are in the mode of goodness generally and they have many nice qualities so they appear in that person bhakti or uh, rupa goswami pad also in bhakti rasamrita sindhu says that uh, vaidhi sadhan bhakti has two characteristics or sadhan bhakti in general which are the two characteristics it produces kleshagni and shubhada shubha da shubha means auspicious da means awarder bestower so pure devotional service bestows auspicious qualities in the person today morning i was reading prema vivarta by jagdanand pandit so he also says that that brahman decorated with 12, 12 qualities is of no use because he is going to hell only directly he is going to hell because he is very proud of his brahmin birth and his 12 qualities whereas a person who has faith in the holy name he is far superior he is going back to godhead he also says that somebody born in brahmin family or higher caste etc so he has the right to perform 10 rites those 10 samskaras maybe and other lower below shudras and kirata hunandra pulinda pulkash etc they may not be performing those sanskaras because they are they are low born in one sense but if they have faith in the holy name they are far superior to this brahman who performs all these 10 sanskaras and other things so thus qualities are more important in our devotional practice also what we need to see what qualities are developing in me mm. Uh, though we are brahmacharis we shave our head but many times after shaving our head we may look into the mirror and uh, wow what a beautiful person <laughs> we may uh, worry about our form uh, much before maybe when we get initiated we may be so much worried about our name what name i will get and we may get some name uh, sundar sham das what a sundar name hari bol <laughs> name itself has sundar in it so what to speak of because i am sundar anyway yeah, sundar in all aspects so good so this this sundar sham is i mean sundar sham lord's name is important but in my name sundar sham das is not so important sundar sham is not that important as much as das das is most important in fact uh, when we take initiation from his holiness radhan swami maharaj there we say also the uh, third means apart from the daily i will chant 16 rounds of hari krishna mahamantra on the beats that you give me and i will follow the four regulatory principles namely no meat eating no gambling no illicit sex no intoxication and in the mission of shila prabhupad i will serve as a servant of the servant of the servant of all the vaishnavas or servant of you like that so that servant is most important part but we are quite worried about our name hmm? and then next is form as i already described in mirror we see so these two are not so important name and form hmm? and certainly we should never worry about our past times <laughs> which is the highest level fourth gear the first gear second gear don't worry but the third is most important qualities this should be automatic by product in a sense anybody who practices devotional service as purely as he could 
then such a person will have nice qualities. So here Parikshit Maharaj is a pure devotee. He has all the good qualities and the skills are there, as many of you said. And he'll be expert, bowman, he'll be truthful and all those things. And so that skills will be there. Other things are also there, but qualities are most important. So all of us need to practice Krishna consciousness very sincerely and the qualities will develop, necessary qualities. That's how we see the gurus in ISKCON and senior devotees. How so many people on their Vyas Puja and all, they speak their uh, leelas, hmm, pastimes. Why? If you see every pastime will have quality. Hmm. Whatever is being told about that great personality, pure devotee, you'll find in that whole uh, description, something uh, prominent is brought about, is uh, shown. And that will be a quality. So qualities are most important. All this Shamadama, Tapashaucham and all that. The Brahmana's qualities. So Vaishnava's qualities are how many? 26. Which are they? It's all you may not know. But still. Hmm? Immediate? Humility. Okay, humility. Hmm. Krishna Kesharanam. Okay. Cleanliness. Hmm. Grave. Grave. Poetic, hmm. tolerant, okay, expert, hmm. meet the book, just what is required, that much only he eats, any other, compassionate, akruta droha, hmm. he doesn't have enmity with anyone, like that many qualities are there, 26 qualities, which are, where are they explained, I mentioned, Mahabharat, Bhagavita, Bhagavita, Bhagavatam, where? In the purport Prabhupada writes, but they are there in uh, Shyatana Charita Amrita. Mm, uh, maybe Adilila, 8th chapter or somewhere. Mm, talking about Haridas Pandit. Mm, so there, uh, Shila, Ch Vishuna, Shila Krishna's Kaviraj Goswami talks how this uh, head pujari, head priest of Sri Radha Govinda Mandir, Haridas Pandit, he whatever, instructed or requested or ordered rather me to write Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And who is this Haridas Pandit? So he tells, you know, Krupalu and all that. Very merciful, very nice qualities. So, and uh, topmost qualities, he says, uh, what is the beginning? Very nice verse. Our Gaurang Prabhu always quotes, um, Kaya Mane Vakke Kare Vaishnava Santosh. Ha Vaishnavera Guna Grahi na dekha ye dosh Kayamana Vakke Kare Vaishnava Santosh. Correct? Hmm. Vaishnavera Guna Grahi. He would always accept the good qualities of devotees. Every devotee has so many good qualities. Vaishnavera Guna Grahi. All those good qualities. Na dekha ye dosh. What happens? Sometimes we see good qualities of devotees, but on the other side, we also see some. Bad qualities. There are no bad qualities. The bad qualities are in ourselves only, which get reflected in his body. It's like a mirror. You know, any devotee comes in front of us, he's like a mirror in front of us. So then we see so many bad things. Why? Because my heart is filled with so many faults, so many bad things. So then I say, oh, this devotee, uh, he has this problem, that problem, this fault, that fault. So that is the thing. But he, Haridas Pandit, he was such a pure devotee. Vaishnavera uh, Gunagrahi. Na dekhaye dosh. He would not see any fault in them. And kaya mane vakke kare Vaishnava santosh. With his body, mind and words, he would always try to serve, serve to definitely, but try to please them also. So this is most important. In general, we should uh, know that we are all servants of devotees. And in particular, when a devotee comes in front of me, I am his personal servant. Like all of you are here now uh, for... 8 or 10 around and some are online maybe so i am servant of you all personal servant hmm? personal servant means you know what it means all of us must have acted as personal servant to some degree to some devotee so personal servant means whatever he says accordingly only you have to do act speak and all those kind of thing anytime anything just like now in the middle of the lecture you ask any question so i have to answer hmm? like that i cannot say hey, come on not now Yes, there is another that can be informed earlier only that uh, in our class we will not have any questions but at the end we will have uh, time for question answer 
but otherwise uh, at least i don't do that because for as many times time only doesn't remain for questions answer to no question then <laughs> because question asking only time is not there so you can ask question if you want uh, in between also any time you feel like raise your hand and then take the mic and ask the question so we have to become personal servant we have to be personal servant to that devotee who in front of us so if we only accomplish this this only if you do you will become pure devotee in this very life much before your death also don't have to wait for the last moment of death that then i will chant pure holy name one no much before only today morning uh, before bhagavatam class i was reading the notes in my diary so his holiness banu swami maharaj when he came here he was had given lecture so he was saying that if only one can chant once uh, pure holy name hmm? that is like perfection once that is good very nice but better is if one constantly chants the pure holy name hmm? any time he chants hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare immediately hmm? radha rundavan chandra's image manifests in the heart because hare is radha rani krishna and ram are again krishna only so that is constantly chanting pure chanting so this is better but the best is to teach others how to chant purely that means he is always always chanting constantly pure holy name so this is the best even teaching others so many times we may wonder whether in life ever i will be able to chant even once like that so that once is never possible in this life and millions of next lives if we are seeing the faults of devotees you have to close your eyes rather internally one should be so absorbed in krishna consciousness one finds no fault not just in other devotees but in any person or any thing in the creation nowhere you see any fault vishwam purana sukhayate vidhi mahendra discha kitayate hmm. if only we receive the side long glance of shri gauranga mahaprabhu then you will find the whole world is a very blissful place vishwam purana sukhayate sa sukhalayam no question of dukhalay there is no dukha what is the dukha you know dukha like that you will find vishwam purana sukhayate and vidhi mahendra discha kitayate vidhi Uh, brahma mahendra uh, shiva all their abodes and all that kitayate all these personalities they will be like insects that means na dhanam na janam na sundari nothing of this world means material is appealing to the devotee so this one quality i think today morning also he said who said chaitanya mahaprabhu always said hmm, that always chant the holy name of the lord and never criticize other devotees and some other times in chaitanya bhagavat rundavan das thakur says he would tell always chant the holy name of the lord and serve the devotees hmm? serving the devotees so if only you make the goal of your life as service to vaishnavas vaishnav seva hmm? then you will not commit offense to devotee any time you are not desiring to serve a vaishnava immediately you will commit uh, mistake you will commit fault that uh, offense so any devotee comes in front of us we have to have very clear in our heart i want to serve this devotee now how to serve according to time place circumstances krishna will give that intelligence depending on how sincere we are in our spiritual practice he will give that intelligence because sometimes just chanting hari krishna is enough maybe sometimes providing him with water maybe sometimes hot uh, milk or whatever depending on time place circumstances krishna will give that intelligence but most important is to be very clear that i want to serve vaishnavas vaishnav seva name ruchi vaishnav seva jivudaya anyway this is the what to call essence of all our spiritual practices anything you are doing in 24 hours a day uh, 365 days of the year for 10 years of your decade until your last breath what you are doing the essence has to be these three only name ruchi vaishnav seva and jivudaya so will i develop test am i developing test for chanting the holy name of the lord am i desiring to serve more and more vaishnavas in a better and better way first the existing vaishnavas only am i serving them properly and am i able to please them more more and more and then eventually increasing the number of vaishnavas also whom i am serving and trying to please them also and the capacity the strength the ability will be provided by krishna balam balavatam chaham buddhir buddhimatam asmi as is the strength of the strong as is the intelligence of the intelligent likewise he will give us unlimited strength hmm? whatever the strength physical mental intellectual any any level hmm? krishna will provide that is his responsibility 
యోగక్షేమం వహామి అహం దట్ ఈస్ హిస్ డ్యూటీ బట్ వాట్ ఈస్ అవర్ డ్యూటీ అనన్యాశ్చింతయంతో మాం ఏ జన పర్యుపాసతే తేషాం నిత్యాభియుక్తాం యోగక్షేమం మహామి సో ఫస్ట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు డూ దిస్ ఫస్ట్ పార్ట్ ఫస్ట్ టూ లైన్స్ అనన్యాశ్చింతయంతో మాం ఏ జన పర్యుపాసతే అని కృష్ణ విల్ ప్రొవైడ్ సో ద మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ క్వాలిటీ ఆఫ్ పరీక్షిత్ మహారాజ్ హైలైటెడ్ ఓవర్ హియర్ ఈస్ దట్ హీ వాజ్ అ డివోటీ హీ వాజ్ అ ప్యూర్ డివోటీ సో బికాస్ ఆఫ్ బీయింగ్ అ డివోటీ ఆల్ ద నైస్ క్వాలిటీస్ విల్ డెవలప్ ఇన్ అస్ జస్ట్ లైక్ యూ కెన్ సీ ప్రవపాత్ ప్యూర్ డివోటీ ఓన్లీ బట్ స్టిల్ వెన్ యూ వెన్ టు వెస్ట్ దే హ్యాడ్ అ స్లోగన్ నెవర్ బిలీవ్ ఇన్ ఎనీబడీ హూ ఈస్ థర్టీ ప్లస్ ఎనీబడీ హూ ఈస్ థర్టీ వన్ ఇయర్స్ ఓల్డ్ థర్టీ టూ ఇయర్స్ ఓల్డ్ థర్టీ త్రీ ఇయర్స్ ఓల్డ్ మోర్ ద ఏజ్ వర్స్ట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నో క్వశ్చన్ ఆఫ్ లిసనింగ్ టు హిమ్ దె మైట్ యాజ్ వెల్ స్పీట్ ఆన్ ద ఫేస్ ఆఫ్ దట్ ఫెలో అండ్ లీవ్ దట్ ప్లేస్ నాట్ నెవర్ హియర్ హిమ్ సో దట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ స్లోగన్ అండ్ ప్రాపర్ వాజ్ నాట్ థర్టీ ప్లస్ ఆర్ ఫార్టీ ప్లస్ ఫిఫ్టీ ప్లస్ సిక్స్టీ ప్లస్ ఈ వాజ్ సెవెంటీ ప్లస్ అండ్ దే హాల్ హర్డ్ సో మచ్ సో మచ్ దే ఆర్ ఈగర్ టు హియర్ మోర్ అండ్ మోర్ అండ్ మోర్ అండ్ ఫైనాన్షియలీ ప్రాపర్ వాజ్ బ్యాంక్ క్రాఫ్ట్ హెల్త్ వైజ్ వెరీ పూర్ హెల్త్ వెర్ ఆల్ యంగ్ స్ట్రాంగ్ ఫెలోస్ ప్రాపర్ వాజ్ సో ఇన్ ఆల్ ఆస్పెక్ట్స్ మెటీరియల్ థింగ్స్ ప్రాపర్ వాజ్ అ ఫెల్యూర్ బట్ హీ వాజ్ ప్యూర్ డివోటి and that stands supreme and all other things become immaterial and then krishna gives strength and then we see also that prabhupad was 70 plus but then the way he was leading all is gone many youngsters were tired personal servant would be uh, tired and retired and re re retired <laughs> he would leave only he would run away sometimes otherwise he would ask you know please somebody else can be serving he let him get prabhupad's close association <laughs> i am too tired of it <laughs> like that so prabhu had such a stamina my god he was hardly sleeping that reporter asked uh, swami ji you make your followers your disciples to get up what time in the morning 4 o'clock and what time do they sleep 10 o'clock so only 6 hours they sleep and you make them force them to get up 4 o'clock in the morning what time do you get up so prabhu said 1 o'clock and then he thought 1 o'clock in the afternoon <laughs> prabhu said not 1 pm 1 huh? am he was wondering hey swami is crazy fellow only he gets up in the midnight <laughs> at least 4 o'clock is okay then <laughs> he was okay then what is getting up at 4 o'clock 1 o'clock to his all fuse was blown off you 1 o'clock is really midnight for him even 4 o'clock is midnight only but when he heard 1 o'clock he said hi this is really midnight then the 4 o'clock is okay so he was like speechless so prabhat was so powerful hmm. so if only we become pure devotees hmm, sincere devotees everything else will be accomplished many times because of wrong association rather hmm, we take things in a wrong way from some other devotees and we think no he is so expert in shlokas maybe i should also learn many shlokas oh he is so good in mridang playing kartal playing maybe i should also become expert like him oh he is so expert in collecting so much funds so i will also be i also wish to be like that so this is not required why can't we see somebody who chants very nicely hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari if somebody is very sincere devotee just like his grace janani vas prabhu what uh, expertise and other things which we strive for are seen in prabhu hmm? they may be there we hardly see that he is a simple sincere brahmachari hmm, prabhupad disciple very what they call um, unassuming isn't it absolutely unassuming and so simple hearted bengali young brahmachari is giving bhagavita class in the evening first of all bhagavita class immediately you understand evening class means basic for all outsiders fallen souls and i am the most elevated uh, so and that too in bangla uh, i don't understand only bangla and uh, prabhu is from london anyway so he sits in that class somebody asked prabhu you understand bangla he said no hmm? then why are you sitting first of all he is so senior and this fellow brahmachari is young brahmachari so he is sitting he said no the transcendental sound vibration will purify my heart see what a faith the sound vibration is transcendental i may not be able to understand bangla language but it's not a language is the divya dhvani adhyatmik dhvani transcendental sound vibration that will purify my heart so simple so simple that's why his inspiration for so many devotees including even sanyasis and um, gurus in his con mm-hmm. such inspiration 
So we don't uh, make him as our role model. We have somebody else who is a big fund collector, big book distributor, all these talent skills that we are more charmed, attracted to than the core devotional um, qualities um, or core devotional activities like hearing and chanting. So we should become tenacious hearers. I always see Ms. Shastras anyway told that uh, what that Parikshit Shravane hmm? the, for the nine process of devotional service, the first one Shravan, hearing. Parikshit Maharaj is the example for that. You know, See first, uh, Srimad Bhagavatam was spoken by uh, Shukdev Goswami but he doesn't come first. First comes hearer. If hearer is there, then the speaker gets some, um, isn't it? Just like otherwise, if none of you are here and everything is same, I come here and sit here. Everything is same, except you all are missing here. I will not be able to speak anything. I will might as well sleep on this Vyasasana. <laughs> or if I have a little etiquette following, then I will sleep on the... <laughs> I will feel this is an offense to the Vyasasana. I will sleep on the... So much carpet is there anyway. <laughs> so, Parikshit Shramani. So, he is tenacious hearer. We say many times 24 by 7. But that is applicable for those... Uh, multi-speciality hospitals and things like that. They are also, nobody is present 24 by 7. They have shifts. One after other people come and other party, first party goes. But here, Parikshit is sitting through without any grain of food and no drop of water even. And Shukdev Goswami felt concerned and he asked, would you like to take a break? So, no. <laughs> Forget about hunger and thirst. A little bit I had that and I committed mistake by putting the dead snake around uh, uh, neck of Shamikrushi and now I'm close to death now. So, no. You are giving me this nectar of Krishna Gata. This is so relishable. This gone. I don't feel hunger and thirst at all. So, we should become tenacious hearers. So, that's why we should pray hmm, to Parikshit Maharaj particularly. As Prabhupada, you must have read in the um, third chapter of a canto, I think 44th verse, last verse. Prabhupada says that Krishna stands out of the pages of Srimad Bhagavatam. You remember? He just does not say once there. At least four to five times he says that. How many of you remember? Nobody remembers? You skipped that chapter or what? Did you skip that chapter? <laughs> so how did you forget then? You can note down that. 44th verse. 1344. I will not read the whole thing, but like. Uh, one can certainly see directly the presence of Lord Krishna, Sri Krishna in the pages of Bhagavatam if one has heard it from a self-realized great soul like Shukde Goswami. <laughs> now you are all self-realized and you remember some self-realized soul uh, gave class. Who gave? Hmm? You are all convinced that that person was not self-realized soul. You even forgot his name. <laughs> Forget about the verse and the purport, etc. You forgot the speaker also. Like that. You may help him. So who could stand up maybe? We have to help each other. Isn't it? It's understood after heavy lunch prasadam. Class in a gloomy room. The lights are there. These are not very brilliant. Ideally, halogen lamps should be there. <laughs> then also, even speaker can take rest. <laughs> what to speak of the audience who are just silently sitting. <laughs> so that is the power of our prasad and devotional practices. <laughs> but anyway, so here Prabhupada says that. Hmm? So then, I don't also, nor can one learn Bhagavatam from one who interprets the text by his mundane scholarship. One has to learn Bhagavatam from the representative of Shukadeva Goswami and no one else if one at all wants to see Lord Sri Krishna in the pages. See, simply hearing is not all. One must realize the text with proper attention. So, Shukadeva Goswami, the word Nivishta means that Sutta Goswami drank the juice of Bhagavatam through his ears. That is the real process of receiving Bhagavatam. One should hear with rapt attention from the real person. And then he can at once realize the presence of Lord Sri Krishna in every page. See, so it comes more also. And that famous uh, statements. No one can give rapt attention who is not pure in mind. No one can be pure in mind who is not pure in action. And no one can be pure in action who is not pure in eating, sleeping, mating and defending. See, 
एनी टाइम्स वी हियर ईटिंग स्लीपिंग मेटिंग डिफेंडिंग इज कंडेम्ड सामान्यमेत पशुभिर नाराण बट हियर प्रभापति सैंग वन हू इज प्योर इन इज ईटिंग स्लीपिंग मेटिंग एंड डिफेंडिंग दट मीन्स ऑल फोर आर अलाउड सो फॉर दोज गृहस्थ एंड ऑल मेटिंग विल बी देर एंड डिफेंडिंग मे बी फॉर अस इवन ईटिंग स्लीपिंग एनी वी देर सो दोज हू आर प्योर इन देर दिस ईटिंग मेटिंग स्लीपिंग डिफेंड दे आर प्योर इन देर एक्शन and those who are pure in their actions they are pure in their mind and those who are pure in their mind they can hear with rapt attention not just attention rapt attention rapt word is very powerful word you all know what it means hmm? so he says that but somehow or other if someone hears with rapt attention from the right person at the very beginning one can assuredly see lord sri krishna in person in the pages of bhagavatam i skipped some part of the purport so at least four to five times it comes so just like krishna stands out of each and every page of shrimad bhagavatam similarly these great souls also stand out like here parikshit maharaj is standing out in the pages of shrimad bhagavatam so you should pray uh, to the lotus feet of parikshit maharaj to parikshit maharaj to empower us to be able to hear shrimad bhagavatam like we all know how difficult it is now i am also speaking so somewhat easy but if i also sit in the audience i may also feel drowsy and all that hmm. so sometimes even in iskon the speaker also has slept while giving class only so krishna says in bhagavata sarva dharman parityajya and the hand is gone up and he slept there only and all the audience is they got up after few second miss they were all kya class khatam hai na class to khatam hai he is still on the vasasan and hand is up and uh, i think he said uh, something uh, i think bhagavata maybe but why is he not continuing the class so after one full minute was over then he said maam ekam sharanam raja all were shocked not only he continued the class after one full minute he exactly continued that shloka also <laughs> he never realized in his life that he slept on vasasan while giving class this was in new rundavan <laughs> they would be very tired while giving class so it's certainly very difficult so i'm spending more time on this verse but this is very important because parikshit is the hero hmm? not just a bhagavatam but he is hero in hearing and hearing is the foundation of devotional practice without hearing you cannot do anything else archana what will you do if you don't hear from senior pujaris how to worship and all that hmm? isn't it similarly chanting of the holy name also if you don't hear what to chant how to chant how will you chant and similarly pada samana also how to massage if you don't hear that person who's lotus feet you are going to massage how will you massage you may massage and he'll say what nonsense is this the way yeah this is the way i know no i want you to do in this way when you hear him then you will do in that way then he will be pleased and similarly others also achana mandanam dasyam sakyam so hearing is the foundational most important for a brahmachari to he has to be a tenacious hearer brahmachari who cannot hear will have difficulties serious difficulties in his future hmm? and we can see also those who live ashram also they don't hear they don't hear the seniors and seniors are telling he only says that you know i am living ashram so i think uh, for me grahastha ashram is better uh, are but who told you did anyone instruct you your spiritual master anybody so then they may request uh, no no try for some time or you know no no he will not hear only he will not hear सेम थिंग पेरेंट्स ग्रस्त पेरेंट्स विल ऑल्सो टेल ही ना प्रभु जी थोड़ा बताइए तो हमारे बेटे को या बेटी को सुनता ही नहीं या सुनती ही नहीं हा मेन यू हर्ड लाइक दैट समेर एटलीस्ट इन यूर रिलेटिव यू मस्ट है ना बिकॉज यूर साधु ना हो रिले अरे प्रभु थोड़ा बताओ इसको पढ़ाई का नहीं तो यू बिकेम इंजीनियर समटाइम्स वेन आई टॉक टू सम वेल विशर काइंड ऑफ पीपल वेल विशर टू इसकॉन एंड देन सम हाउ आफ्टर सम टाइम दे सम हाउ दे कम टू नो दैट आई डिड इंजीनियरिंग So as soon as that Mataji comes to know that I didn't, Prabhu Ji, you have did engineering. Tell my son how to study very nicely. Sunta hi nahi, hamari pada hi nahi karta. I said, "Arey, miss in mind, I think I kicked away all that engineering. <laughs> Why do you want to push him in that whirlpool of engineering? But in externally, I don't say that. But we can see hearing deficiency is there. This is the greatest deficiency. As Bhakti Nath Agur pointed out, the only problem in this world is lack of. krishna consciousness and krishna consciousness begins with hearing anyway lot to speak about uh, hearing but here because prabhupada so point uh, nicely points out the real qualification is to become a devotee of the lord and gradually all the good qualities worthy of possession 
develop. So we should develop. We should possess qualities, but they will develop automatically. We don't have to try to uh, possess them by this way, that way. That is very superficial. Most important is to become very nice, sincere, serious devotees. Then all the good qualities will automatically develop. Shubhada, auspicious qualities develop in that person. That's how the whole world gets attracted to him. Mm, pure devotee is very charming. Mm, not necessarily that physical. Even physical charm is also there. Uh, the Americans, Europeans who are tall, white-skinned, beautiful, young boys and girls, they got charmed by Prabhupada's face, Prabhupada's beauty. Mm. Prabhupada was 70-year-old. The body was 70-year-old skin only. But how did they get charmed by Prabhupada's beauty like that? Amazing. So then uh, ahead he says, Maharaj Parikshit was therefore a devotee of the first order and thus he used to consult great sages and learned Brahmins who could advise him by the Shastras how to execute the state of administ state administration. Such great kings were most responsible than modern elected executive heads because they obliged the great authorities by following their instructions left in Vedic literatures. There was no need for impractical fools to enact daily a new legislative bill and to conveniently alter it again and again to serve some purpose. So Prabhupada is giving sarcastic remark here, isn't it? Because these legislative legislative heads in the world today, and they make some law and then afterwards they understand there is some problem there. We need to modify it. Again, they change. After some time, again, they keep doing that. So that kind of thing was never required because he always was guided by very learned and devotee Brahmins whose instructions and guidelines were infallible because they were based on the Vedic literatures. The rules and regulations were already set forth by great sages like Manu, Yadnyavalka, Parashar and other liberated sages and the enactments were all suitable for all ages in all places. Therefore, the rules and regulations were standard and without flaw or defect. Kings like Parikshit Maharaj had their council of advisors and all the members of that council were either great sages or Brahmins of the first order. They did not accept any salary nor had they any necessity for such salaries. The state, the state would get the best advice without expenditure. Amazing, isn't it? Now the state gets the worst of the advice. Hmm? With so many heavy fat salaries. So all these politicians, you know, Amdar, Ghazdar, MLAs, my God, if you come to know their salaries, you'll be shocked. And they are not one, two, three, four. There are thousands for just each country. And so much fat salary they get and what advice they give, it's all useless most of the time. Because they are not Rajarshis, nothing. No good qualities in them. So earlier this was the thing. So Prabhupada gives a lot of instructions about how to rule the state. Uh, very nicely about administrators, about the kings, the top heads of the state, how should they be, their qualities and all that. That you'll find very remarkably standing out in the entirety of first canto. And especially here is the ruler only, Parikshit Maharaj, so naturally uh, he will write all these things. They were not concerned with the hedonistic philosophy of eat, drink, be merry and enjoy. They were philosophers in the real sense and they knew well what is the mission of human life. Under all these obligations, the advisory council of the king would give correct directions and the king or executive head, being himself a qualified devotee of the Lord, would scrutinizingly follow them for the welfare of the state. The state in the days of Maharaj Yudhishthira or Maharaj Parikshit was a welfare state in the real sense of the term because no one was unhappy in that state, be he man or animal. Maharaj Parikshit was an ideal king for a welfare state of the world. So, Parikshit's glories. So, you can see first line was about his being a devotee and then other things were explained. We used to read from Vishnu Chakta Thakur's commentary also. He says in the 16th chapter, the victory tour of Parikshit the question by dharma to the earth and earth's lamentation about separation from Krishna are described. So around these three things are there. So again here also same thing. O Brahman, Vipra, he who possessed qualities of a great person, Tatha Mahad Gunas, ruled. So everywhere, 
the head has to be very uh, having very nice qualities so uh, most means all in is corner leaders only you all are leaders somewhere or the other somebody below is always looking forward to you for making advancement in spiritual life so as leaders we may want to develop many skills hmm? that is okay in the service of the lord but most important is hearing chanting navida bhakti if you do nicely all nice qualities will develop in you hmm? uh, the skills will also develop and if the skills don't develop without that also you will to get many many thousands and lakhs and crores of people to the lotus feet of uh, radha and krishna gornita with that pure devotion that you carry in your heart that you receive from guru parampara so don't worry too much about skills sometimes people go crazy sometimes long before one senior devotee your senior to me also brahmachari he wanted to learn english because he was coming from maharashtrian background so marathi speaking little bit english in you he did uh, graduation but not so much fluent uh, english etc because that in maharashtra we hardly speak so then uh, he asked ayesham bro can i go and join some what they have spoken english classes etc outside uh, that means because some money is required whether temple will pay ayesham bro said why to go outside because there will be all materialistic boys and girls there brahmachari in saffron going there you know and forget about english you may pick up something else only there <laughs> they have other language there sensuous language hope that will not be picked up you learn here only why to go outside or learn from some devotees who could teach you similarly harmonium also somebody wanted to learn harmonium then joining some harmonium teaching classes outside so the problem is again there will be materialistic people there teacher also materialistic and others so what is the use of that skill which will take you away from devotional service or will take devotional service away from you one has to be very careful otherwise they say na what they say uh battle one and war, lost war something what did they say huh uh, won the battle lost the war do you know what is battle and what is war what is battle small fight between two three people something like that and war is what that whole affair where thousands and lakhs may be fighting and in that each one has some battle here and there so the battle is won you are happy that you defeated the opponent you even killed him but then you come to know your whole party is defeated the kingdom is gone the fort is gone <laughs> what is use so like that so we may get uh, expertise in some skills but we may lose krishna so one has to be extremely careful they say na penny wise pounds foolish purpose is to say penny means what some small insignificant uh, currency you know, and pounds pounds is huge in comparison to penny so one is very protective of the penny in the pocket oh this uh, 25 paisa or 50 paisa or 1 rupee coin uh, i hope uh, nobody has stolen ha ah, okay okay but meanwhile somebody took away 100 rupees note from his pocket <laughs> he protected uh, whatever 1 rupee 2 rupee coins but 100 rupee note is gone so this is penny wise pounds foolish so one should not be like that one should know this gem of krishna consciousness is the topmost thing in this hearing chanting smaranam and all that this is more important skills will come that we don't have to worry not much how many of you found that in your life some skills you picked up uh, very quickly without much efforts you know, like maybe karatal playing rhythm you just uh, happened and how many of you seen some other skills are not devel- devel- developing only <laughs> like harmonium for 19 years i learned one tune is which is only sir adana swami maharaj sings you know i don't remember now that tune hare krishna maybe it's something like that i don't i'm not remembering that so i was playing that once in 5 months once in 6 months when harmonium i would see and you know i would play only that much only because that much only i knew and after 19 month what amazing thing happened i forgot that also <laughs> now forget about pressing the keys i don't even remember which the tune was or which i used to keep the pressing the thing and then afterwards i had learned one more one or two more thing that also more or less forgotten and as such the whole harmonium learning i don't know before my death i sometimes feel in case i die and while dying i remember hey harmonium i did not learn so i have to come back again just because of this harmonium not learned i hope i forget in case i don't learn harmonium last moment i should not remember that i did not learn harmonium <laughs> otherwise i'll have to come back in another material body yes hmm 
problem is that materialistic association we might get in the course of learning some new skills. Yes, are purely materialists or among devotees, materialistic devotees. Hmm. Can you study Karis? Correct. So if you associate with them, you will get this materialistic association of this materialistic devotee. He is devotee. Laksadham. Yes. Kanishta Adhikari. He is Adhikari. But he has some other aspirations also. So, uh, question was Proji that, and I'll tell what I understood from your explanation also. Question was that if we want to improve our skill, some skill that we have and we want to improve it so that we can serve it better in the preaching or in service of Lord, like for example, devotees learn cooking various different ways so that they can offer nice preparation, preparations like that. Uh, and we have seen also many devotees, many senior devotees who are very, very well established in their bhakti and they have learned new skills for preaching, like learned new languages also. So uh, is that desire wrong that uh, I want to improve my skills so that I can serve it, I can engage it in a nice way. But as you explained that uh, if it is easily manageable, it's not too much of uh, taking our efforts, hmm. then that is like, then we do not worry yeah. about them. But something and like otherwise, if some senior has instructed you, especially one who happens to be your authority also, maybe counselor or anybody, authority, service authority, if he tells Prabhu, you need to learn this, you know, let's say even car driving, Prabhu, see, every time we have to go for preaching, I can never learn, you are a young man, you should learn. We have vehicle also, but we don't have driver every time we don't get from temple. You must learn. Get a authorized license, etc. So then you'll have to learn. So then you may have to put a lot of uh, efforts also. Though it may not be so easy. Some can learn driving very quickly, but some others may take time. But it is worth it because it is instruction. It is coming in Guru Parampara. Krishna is telling you, you need to learn. So then you have to. Okay. So second. King Parikshit married the daughter of King Uttar and begot four sons headed by Maharaj Janmejay. So her name was uh, Iravati. Somehow the name is not there in translation. But if you see the Sa Uttarasya Tanayam Upai Upam Iem Iravatim. Upamayam is married. Hmm. Where it is there? Yes. Iravati. So who was Uttar? Son of the king, Virat king. When the Pandavas were in uh, incognito for one full year, they stayed in the kingdom of this king Virat. Sometimes they say this is here only. Uh, this Mahabaleshwar is in below that uh, place is there. Mm, here only, nearby. So this was Virat Desh, they say. Mm, they were here. Pandavas were here. But then, uh, so his father, hmm? Parikshit's father was Abhimanyu. So Abhimanyu married Uttara, who was the daughter of this Virat king. When uh, Brahannalla, Arjun in the form of Brahannalla, you know, he became dance teacher for Uttara. He taught her so nicely. So Virat king, he was very happy. He wanted to offer daughter Uttara to him. Arjun as his wife. But Arjun said no. I was teacher for her. I always saw her as my daughter. So I will accept her as my daughter-in-law because I have a son, Abhimanyu. So might as well she could marry him if you don't mind. He said yes. Why not? So then Uttara got married to Abhimanyu and from them only came Parikshit. And Parikshit married his mama's daughter because Uttara is mother and Uttara's brother, he was Uttar. So, Uttar's daughter, Iravati, he married. And this is allowed because the Gotra is different. So, one can marry Mama's uh, daughter, but not uh, Mousis and all, something like that. That is no question. Otherwise, there are serious consequences, the defects in the children because same Gotra and all. That is not recommended, not allowed. And society also, decent society does not agree for such thing. I know one family, somehow very strange, uh, Mousi's daughter was married by that. They were their mothers were sisters, so whole society ostracized them. Nobody, several years passed by, and nobody in the society is listening to them. It means relatives, you understand? Other social life is different, but this, no question. 
so that is not allowed so he married and about janmeja is also said who was the son of parikshit because he is saying king parikshit married the daughter of king uttar and begot four sons headed by maharaj janmeja janmeja we all know what he is famous for hmm? <laughs> snakes not snakes for performing a snake sacrifice <laughs> no which he performed because he uh, saw that he heard that his father was beaten by takshak hmm? and how can he do like this my father such a nice ruler devotee and all that so i will take revenge i'll kill all the snakes of the world and then he performed a huge snake sacrifice when all the snakes of the world were falling in that sacrifice and getting burnt alive like that and the main purpose was takshak basically so takshak took shelter of indra the king of demigods so then janmeja asked the priest what is this all snakes are coming that's okay but most important is takshak who bet my father he has to be burnt alive in this sacrifice where is he so then the devatrika lagyas they said he has taken shelter of indra so indra is protecting takshak he said really so the then perform the sacrifice chant the mantras by which indra along with the takshak will fall in the sacrifice and they were ready they were about to do that but then who came somebody brahma or somebody came he said hey wait this is not required this is become ati rosh sparing that is not what lord wants forget it so then he stopped so he was also very powerful janmeja okay here what is saying the third pad has okay this is little technical we will not get into that third one this talks about the mutual benefit of the king and citizen serving each others maharaj parikshit after having selected krupacharya for guidance as his spiritual master performed three horse sacrifices on the banks of the ganges they were these were executed with sufficient rewards for the attendants at at these sacrifices even the common man could see the demigods to so, sharadvatam word is for krupacharya parikshit maharaj perform three ashwamedha yagyas these were not so easy but uh, cause he was assisted by his citizens and all so he could uh, perform them and then because they assisted their king king in return also empowered them to be able to see the demigods which appeared for that those sacrifices it's not so common to see demigods even in the bygone ages but because they were ideal citizens and they had ideal king so by their mutual relationship service to each other and they got that both got benefited okay fourth so our preparation our discussion is mainly going to help you in your obas hmm what am i prabhu skipping corpot that is for cbe which you should read cbe is okay close book exam and that's very easy Isn't it? Because they write also question and then which shloka it is there. So many times devotees see. Now, what is written? Ahar, na? Where is ahar? Ahar here, ahar. <laughs> okay, two three lines before that, two three lines after that. Okay, this is the answer. Okay, yeah. And those who are using computer, they will only copy paste, copy paste <laughs> like that. But CB will not focus so much. But OBA, open book assessment, which is basically deeper, going deeper, understanding, preaching. I mean, mood and mission, and under what do you call um, personal application, preaching application. This will be our focus of discussion. Sometimes one devotee only prepares all the answers for all questions, and they just share it with, which is not allowed according to BBRV rules. Originally, we had done it long before, first time, like that. So then it was told, "Hey, Prabhu, your answers are matching." that means lot of sharing was done that is not allowed everybody should have his own answer then we all accepted externally internally i don't know <laughs> i honestly prepared my own answers like that okay the fourth he says once when maharaj parikshit was on his way to conquer the world he saw the master of kali yuga who was lower than a shudra disguised as a king and hurting the legs of a cow and bull the king at once caught hold of him to deal sufficient punishment 
So how an ideal king promotes godly and Brahminical culture. That is what's being told here. The purpose of a king's going out to conquer the world is not for self-aggrandizement. Maharaj Parishit went out to conquer the world after his ascendance to the throne, but this was not for the purpose of aggression on the other states. He was the emperor of the world and all small states were already under his regime. So that was not the thing. But to see, it was the king's duty. So any leader should go, come down in one sense to the level of his people and see what difficulties they are going through. Otherwise, we will be high in the uh, air, sky, not knowing what the people on the ground are going through. So that's why it is said that your head can be in the sky, but let the feet be on the ground. That is okay. <laughs> you are a very big person, so your head goes in the sky. That is okay, but the, let the feet be on the ground. Otherwise, your head and feet and everything is in the sky only. And the ground level people are... Are Prabhu, there is no prasad in the kitchen. <laughs> but then he says, yeah. Like, you know that uh, queen of uh, London, I think. When she came to know that people don't have, they have poverty, so they don't have, don't have money to purchase bread. So what did she say? Oh, if they can't purchase breads, why don't they eat cakes? What a foolish lady. <laughs> what is costlier, bread or uh, cakes? Cake is very costly. Bread is people are so poor they don't have money for bread and she's saying let them purchase cakes and eat because money for bread is not there so this kind of leader is useless or rather to be condemned should be beaten up in the marketplace only yeah so we should come down we should come down and see what others go through they say also now one of the what do you call characteristic of a learned person is atmavat sarva bhuteshu matravat paradareshu paradarveshu loshtravat Atmavat Sarva Bhuteshu Ya Pashyati Sa Pandita. Pandit means three characteristics. Anybody who is learned in the scriptures mainly. Not in the outside world. Because that uh, those so-called learned people in the materialistic educational institutes, they don't, uh, they are not seen with these qualities. Matruvat Paradareshu. Seeing every other woman as one's mother, like one's mother. Paradravyeshu Loshtravat. Seeing others' property as garbage. That means not for me. My sense gratification. And Atmavat Sarva Bhutishu, seeing others the way one sees oneself, in a sense. How we want to be, wish to be treated very nicely by others. So like that we should treat others also. One who sees like this, he is a Pandita. Not necessarily one who knows thousands of shlokas and can speak from any scripture. No. These three are the characteristics. So he says, uh, as soon as Maharaj Pariksha saw that a lower class man in the dress of a king, was hurting the legs of a cow and bull. At once he arrested and punished him. The king cannot tolerate insults to the most important animal, the cow. Nor can he tolerate disrespect for the most important man, the Brahman. Human civilization means to advance the cause of Brahminical culture and to maintain it. Cow protection is essential. So, Brahmanas and cows. Go Brahmanya Hitayacha. Namo Brahmanya Devaya. Go Brahmanya Hitayacha. Jagaditaya Krishnaya Govindaya Namo Namaha. The cows and Brahman are the most important. Both are in Sattva Guna. The Brahman is in the mode of Sattva, in the mode of goodness, and cow is also in the mode of goodness. And she gives the milk, which is considered to be the essence of all the religions, religious practices. Because all the scriptures can be easily understood if one drinks cow milk. It's very powerful. So cow gives cow milk, so cow needs protection. And it is the duty of the king, administrative head. Fifth one. 5 to 9, he is saying, suitable subject matter for hearing. Shauna Krushi is going to say to Sutta Goswami. 3 and 4 are about perform 3 horse sacrifices and chastise Kali. 5 to 9, Shauna Krushi's question. Fifth one is why Parikshit only punished Kali and not kill him. Describe only if related to Krishna. Shona Krushi is saying, he inquired, why did Maharaj Parikshit simply punish him since he was the lowest of the Shudras, having dressed as a king and having struck a cow with his leg? Please describe all these incidents if they relate to the topics of Lord Krishna. So here he is also saying that struck the cow with his leg. What is it in Hindi? Lath Mara Usne. 
गाय को हाउ कैन वन डू दैट हॉरिबल पद हनत पद आहनत अहनत इज ट्रक तो हाउ कैन ही किक अ काउ नो सेन मैन विल डू दैट काउ इज टू बी रिस्पेक्टेड वन कैन बाउ डाउन टू काउ वन कैन परफॉर्म आरती टू काउ वन कैन ऑफर फ्लावर्स एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ द काउ वन कैन पुट अ गार्लैंड टू हर वन कैन डेकोरेट हर एंड सो मेनी थिंग्स रिस्पेक्टफुली बट नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ स्ट्रकिंग हर विथ लेग बट दिस फेलो वॉज अ लो क्लास मैन सो दैट प्रूड दो ही वॉज इन द ड्रेस ऑफ अ किंग एक्टिविटीज प्रूव हु इज वॉट he may because of the king's dress to most others who are not in knowledge he might have appeared as a king but parikshit could he at once see how oh, how can he be the ruler no question something is fishy here he immediately sensed it and we see so many great devotees like how uh, shivanand sen you know even to a dog he allowed to miss dog anyway joined and kept walking generally they say har kutta apni gali ka share hota hai लेकिन अपनी ही गली का शेर होता है और अपनी गली में ही रहता है द मोमेंट ही गोज टू अदर गली दोज डॉग और द पर्टिकुलर डॉग हु इज द शेयर ऑफ दैट गली ही स्टार्ट बार्किंग ऑन हिम सो दट्स जनरली डॉग्स विल नॉट लीव देयर गली बट दिस डॉग नॉट ओनली लेफ्ट द गली रादर होल विलेज और टाउन विलेजेस आफ्टर विलेजेस टाउन आफ्टर टाउन सो शिवानंद सेन अंडरस्टूड इज सम ग्रेट सोल ही इज ऑल्सो इगर टू टेक दर्शन ऑफ महाप्रभु सो लेट हिम कम एंड ही इज अ वैष्णव जस्ट लाइक सो मेनी अदर वैष्णव हैव जॉइंट Two hundred around, so one more, and he was taking very nice care for that dog, boiled rice or whatever daily. But one point of time when he was little bit stuck with the toll collectors, so he told instructed other devotees how to provide him uh, boiled rice etc. But then it became little late, and somehow that dog whatever happened, he left. When Sh our uh, Shivanand Sen came back, he saw all devotees are there, but where is that dog? Immediately asked, where is that dog? And uh, the devotee, uh, where is uh, Hari? What is this? I had told you to. Uh, we don't know what happened. So he sent ten men in ten directions in order to find out that dog. You even tell me if some devotee leaves his con, how many of us have appointed ten devotees hmm, in ten direction or one direction or five direction, whichever direction? How many of us are appointed? Many times we don't even appoint one devotee. Okay, okay. पता नहीं क्या हुआ वही लेफ्ट सो दिस इज नॉट द वे और डॉग शिवानंद सेन वी मे से अरे बट दैट डॉग वॉक सो मेनी गलीज एंड ऑल दैट बट अरे आवर डिवोटी आल्सो वॉक इन सो मेनी गलीज इन हरिनाम संकीर्तन ही वेंट विथ अस विथ फॉर यात्रास एंड ही वेंट फॉर बुक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो मेनी प्लेसेस एंड नाउ यू आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन फाइंडिंग आउट हिज डिटेल्स वेयर इज ही व्हाट इज ही गोइंग थ्रू नो वट इज कंसर्न सो दिस इज व्हाट इज इम्पर्सनलिज्म पक्का वी आर हाई पर्सनलिस्ट इन अवर स्पीचेस एंड वॉट यू कॉल अल्ट्रा इम्पर्सनलिस्ट इन अवर बिहेवियर नॉट टू यू आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट माई सेल्फ सो दिस इज अ पैराडॉक्स इन इज कॉन इज ओनली राधा स्वामी महाराज सेड इफ यू गो टू एनी मायावादी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एज दे कम टू नो दैट सम साधु हैज कम इवन इफ यू आर अ ब्रह्मचारी यू मे बी इन वाइट शेव डेड सम सिम्टम्स ऑफ बींग ब्रह्मचारी सम काइंड ऑफ साधु the top head many times will come to the gate you know welcome and he will speak very nicely he will take you to his office or room and red carpet welcome is there red sofa welcome is there and red chair welcome is there he make you sit he will give you water fruits and snacks and, and all that he will speak very nicely he will spend so much time with you like that so he is philosophically he is very impersonal he is mayavadi but in behavior is pakka personalist because indian culture like that and we have lost is vishesh shunyavadi bashat dishta and in behavior we are pakka <laughs> i'm talking about myself so this is not how we should be we should have time for others we should be caring for them you know we made we are caring for them <laughs> but caring is there na prabhu only one extra s i am a yes man so i had s in that that is not good <laughs> caring is dangerous if somebody raised and you had raised Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, if someone someone lifts, uh, sometimes it happens that uh, duty does not hear the authority. The authority try to give him better options, some seva or that, this seva or that seva. So he is not willing to 
accommodate and although sometimes authority gives uh, willing to bend also and try to cooperate but the devotee is not willing to uh, then ultimately has to leave and he doesn't have to leave and he ultimately has wants to, to leave that is ha, yeah he have to he, he wants to leave in that case uh, it's observed that he is not then after that uh, it's tried by the authority to keep that devotee as much as possible but the devotee only wants to leave after that it is seen that he is not taken that much follow up so is it okay or in no, that it's case not okay it's okay for the authority to take that uh, decision and all that hmm. that is administrative role hmm. but we have some personal role also na hmm. is after all the devotee is going to chant anyway hmm. he might not be following that instruction he might have left brahmacharya ashram you have to be friend with him hmm. and you have to continue dealing with him yes he may not be having temple services but friendly there's a being human now it's very famous a t-shirt hmm. being human generally we hear the word hear the word human being but they write being human many times we may be in human being but we may not be being a human so we have to be humanly or he has some heart he has some emotion so why you will break your relationship with him your friendship with him you understand no? so the friendship should continue friendship has nothing to do with administration uh once uh, Uh, mukund swami who was earlier mukund mah mukund prabhu who was what was his name earlier mike mike no ha so mike was uh, there so he received a call somewhere in the midnight or somewhere that time that kind of no and said who is there who is speaking said i am swami prabhu pad swami is, is this abhay charanarvind swami i said oh swami ji what is that and uh, professor i just remembered you and i thought of Not calling you, so I just called you. How are you doing and all that? And he was so much happy. He said, "Swami ji, you know I was extra uh, article caught in some drug peddling or something like that. Some blame came to him because of that. As it was released, the news came to all my relatives, friend. They all rejected me. Nobody has called me for days together. After so many days, I have received call and that too from you. Thank you, thank you very much. To see." Krishna also arranged today's class about Paramatma. Paramatma inspired Prabhupada to call him exactly at the moment when it was most needed in one sense. So he sold out himself to Prabhupada. And so one call can save somebody's life. Yes or no? Hmm. Acha okay. That was there only. Yeah. That was with Sham Sundar Prabhu, na? Sham Sundar Prabhu when he after some months passed in his con, then he said, uh, "Swami ji, I have to go to." prison cell mm-hmm. professor said uh, why no, then professor said, oh krishna was also born in prison cell <laughs> then he said for what you know because i was involved in some drug dealing professor said i was also a drug addict a drug uh, <laughs> dealer <laughs> like that he said no no swami ji not that kind of uh, pharmaceutical shop and selling drugs i was selling these drugs lc lsd and all that so professor said oh, really so then he said uh, you go no problem you preach there <laughs> like that and he went and uh, it was nice <laughs> they so you can see how prabhupad was very nice gentleman prabhupad expects all of us to be gentlemen my followers are perfect gentlemen my god perfect is too heavy a word but at least let us become gentlemen first gentlemen will talk to others what to call little lovingly or at least cordially or something like that we don't want to do with anything anyone who has broken the rules and regulations of the whatever in sometimes somebody may under some impetus may do some mistake that doesn't mean that we should reject him from our heart proper never rejected anybody from his heart pure devotee never rejects anyone like that prabhupada in uh, purport says uh, krishna is the purifying ingredient in all matters regardless of what they are the sociology politics economics cultural affairs and all that mm, they all can be in relation with krishna and therefore all of them are worth hearing in the mundane world everything is impure due to its being a product of the three mundane qualities sattva gun raja gun tamo gun the purifying agent however is krishna today morning in banu maharaj notes only he says that those who are in passion and ignorance for them karma yogi is 
जनरली द पाथ लॉट ऑफ पैशन कर्म कर्म ठीक है वर्क वर्क कनेक्टेड टू कृष्ण समाओ एंड दोज आर इन गुडनेस फॉर देम ज्ञान एंड योग सो एन आई रेड द नोट्स इन द मॉर्निंग टूडे देन आई वॉज वॉन्डरिंग वॉट अबाउट भक्ति फॉर भक्ति प्योर गुडनेस इज रिक्वाइड इन सेंस और देन थॉट केम टू माइंड नो एनी बडी कैन प्रैक्टिस इवन सत्व गोणी रजो गोणी तमो गोणी एनी बडी कैन प्रैक्टिस एट लीस्ट प्रैक्टिस दो मिक्स भक्ति बट इवेंचुअली बाई हियरिंग फ्रॉम प्योर डिवोटिस ही विल कम टू प्योर डिवोशनल प्लेटफॉर्म एंड देन इवेंचुअली प्योर गुडनेस ऑल्सो तो प्योरिफाइंग एजेंट इज कृष्ण is talking about uh, saragrahi and bharavahi or honey bee and fly mentality you all know fly sits on all dirty things even in the nicest garden it will sit on piece of stool whereas uh, honey bee even in the stool and all that some flower is there having some little honey it will sit there and suck the honey so we should be um, saragrahi that topic will come little bit later purifying uh, that is elaborately there krishna being a purifying agent anything in relation with him is worth hearing because they said please describe all these incidents if they relate to the topics of lord krishna because this seems to be a very horrible thing uh, kind of whether is butcher or not he appears to be a king but he is doing butcher's activity only uh, he is hitting the leg of a cow uh, cutting her throat maybe eventually so we don't want to hear this but you are speaking to the goswami you are speaking you will not generally speak such kind of worldly affairs so maybe it is connected to krishna then so if it is really connected to krishna then only you please go ahead with the description otherwise uh, we don't want to hear cow being being slaughtered or even struck with a feet or uh, struck with a leg so just see this is how we should also be while hearing we should be kind of little alert also as to what to hear especially in personal discussion in the class what happens it is a formal setting and a person cannot just speak worldly news social life and this and that so i had received 10 whatsapp messages yesterday so i'll read all of them for you he cannot do that that will be the last class even middle of the class he might be told get down from the assassin like that we'll have kirtan for remaining half an hour <laughs> he also join and clap hands so that cannot be spoken but in our personal discussion this is very much possible see to the degree we have material desires to the, to that degree we'll speak the material desires is in the mode of passion so all your desires will not be fulfilled in marathi there is saying mani vasate swapni dise in your mind there are so many things that you want to achieve but unfortunately there is no forum or hardly any forum where you could give shape to your desires so what mind does in the night sleep you will give shape hmm? then you will uh, whatever you will learn all the skills harmonium mrudang you will be the teacher for millions <laughs> which you know don't know in the daytime you can't even Uh, play that, but in the night, in the dream, you can be teacher for millions in that particular aspect of life. So likewise, to the degree we speak, to the degree we have material desire, to that degree we will speak. Daytime we will do lot of prajalpa, keep speaking with this fellow, that fellow. Brahmacharya ashram also, they what they call prajalpa lounge, they call I think. Prajalpa lounge is there, na? since the lounge is meant for some particular purpose. This is prajalpa lounge, and so all the brahmacharis will come in the corridor, some particular spot. That spot also might be well fixed. <laughs> this prabhu's house uh, room outside that they will gather time and again in the day time and then start what happened to that brahmachari and what about that grahastha and what happened to that so this is all dangerous the material desires are already there and we are trying to reinforce them by speaking further one should not do that that's why silence is also very important one should speak only about krishna that is another definition of silence But if there is nothing to say about Krishna or no one to hear about Krishna, better keep quiet, keep mum. Don't open your mouth. Very easily said than done. Because material desires are there, one cannot. One will be restless. क्या है आश्रम में कोई है कि नहीं कहाँ है सब कहाँ चले गए मुझे अपना दिल खोलना है पूरा. So he will break others' heart because it's पहले अपना break करेगा पूरा heart ये दूसरों का break करेगा. to so be careful don't waste yours and others time at least don't waste others time so oh, prabhu ji yeah, on personal level we should uh, sometime we are careful to speak about anybody devotees but sometime it happens that some junior devotees ha- want to speak something about some devotees this that means he want to 
That is not a problem. If he's glorifying, no, no would, glorification. He, he, he want to faults? he want to share his problem. That he said you are my counselor or something like that. Uh, that is okay. So, then you he, can, he, he, You he, should give him the other positive he, side. Ha, uh, he speaks small, small, trivial things which could be easily tolerated or could be neglected. So he speaks small, small things, and mm. we have to hear all that to give him positive side. So yeah. In between. My personal level, I feel little irritated to think all these things sometimes. Mm. So what? So what you can say? Uh, what I do sometimes with me because I go all over India, many voices and many boys want to meet a senior devotee. Aage, and they, many times the leaders also announce. Prabhu ji se baad mein bhi din de time mein milte hain, mil sakte hain wagera. So many boys want to talk and then I eventually I also understood. So what I tell my assistant or somebody, let them write down their questions on a paper and let me get the paper first. तो वाट ना अभी लिखना है अभी वो सब इतना सब जो आपको बोल रहे हैं ही विल नॉट हैव सो मच एनर्जी टू राइट एवरीथिंग डाउन इट विल कम टू वेरी शॉर्ट एंड व्हेन द बॉय कम्स देन आई टेल हिम सो योर क्वेश्चन इज दिस 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 सो आंसर इज दिस 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 लाइक दैट सो देन ही फील अरे बहुत शॉर्ट में शॉर्ट में हो गया सब कुछ देन समटाइम्स प्रभु जी थोड़ा और पूछना था लेकिन बट इधर लिखा नहीं है ना पहले क्यों नहीं लिखा नहीं जस्ट सो देन समटाइम्स आई एंटरटेन बिकॉज But then I correct them that you should not see faults with other devotees. See fault in yourself, not in others. And if you really have some concern which is really trouble, go to your authorities, the top leaders. If you are having hesitation, then I will talk to your authorities that you have some difficulties. They could uh, find out what to do and all that. But don't just uh, keep spreading rumors or keep spreading ill words about others. That is not good. Don't uh, spoil the ether of Krishna. That is not good. Prajalpa spoils the ether. Akash. Shabda K. The sound is produced in ether. So when you produce material sound, you pollute the ether of Krishna. So we don't have right. We cannot purify Krishna's ether, but at least don't pollute it further. So keep quiet or keep speaking about Krishna. Next sixth one is talking about benefit of hearing the transcendental topics of Krishna. And that benefit is eternal life. So here in commentary, Vishnu Jagannath Thakur writes about the fifth verse: Why did he punish him but not kill him? Nija graha. That low shudra deserved to be killed. Yeah. Why he just punished him? He should have killed him, na? No? Anybody striking cow with his leg should be immediately killed. So sixth one again, Shauna Kadi Rushi Das, Shauna Rushi. The devotees of the Lord are accustomed to licking up the honey available from the lotus feet of the Lord. What is the use of topics which simply waste one's valuable life? So if this topic is not has anything to do with uh, Krishna, we are not interested. So devotees are saragrahi. Just earlier we discussed honey bee takes the essence of that flower is honey. So saragrahi, grahi means grahan, accepting. And bhar wahi is wahi means uh, caring, bhar means the load. So all some bad things, uh, bad qualities of others, you keep in your mind and you keep speaking. You are carrying the uh, that stool kind of thing, donkey stool. Somebody say I have ten thousand kg of donkey stool I am carrying. What a powerful person I am, and so much is my possession. What do you use stool? If it is cow dung of even two three kg. Can sell it, or you can make cow dung cakes and have something worthwhile. This is donkey stool. What will you do? Will you eat, or somebody else will eat? Why are you carrying it unnecessarily? A burden on yourself also. So likewise, others' dosh, others' um, bad qualities, we should not uh, carry in our heart. So these sages are very refined sages. So they want to know here only if it is related to Krishna. So one devotee said, Krishna's. Uh, lotus feet are our mental home. We reside in home. So, what is our mental home? Krishna's lotus feet. So, our mind should always uh, rest at the lotus feet of Krishna. Time and again, we should remember the lotus feet of Krishna. How many of you have photo of whatever your Krishna's lotus feet in your locker? Not many. Eh? So, you can have it. Have Radha and Don Jazul lotus feet. Many photos are there, or you can tell the photographer to click. Nowadays, everybody has camera in their mobile. And click and have it. <clears throat> so our mind. This is our mental home. 
the lotus feet of krishna if the punishment of kali is related to the devotees please tell us so if not with krishna maybe related to devotees and devotees life is revolving around krishna only so tell us if it is related to krishna or tell us if it is related to devotees that is their request and at the other topics what is the use of topics which simply waste one's valuable life they are not interested in them the next was seventh was is the simple and sure short process of stopping death o suta goswami there are those amongst men who desire freedom from death and get eternal life they escape the slaughtering process by calling the controller of death yamaraj so if yamaraj is only sitting in this classroom eager to hear i will definitely not die <laughs> and mostly he will not allow any one of you also to die because he'll feel if everybody dies i am the only in the audience then prabhu may stop speaking so nobody can die if yamaraj is in the classroom not necessarily as a speaker just as a hearer also the living entity as he develops from lower animal life to a higher human being and gradually to higher intelligence becomes anxious to get free from the clutches of death modern scientists try to avoid death by physiochemical advancement of knowledge but alas the controller of death yamraj is so cruel that he does not spare even the life of the scientist himself <laughs> i heard that once one uh, cardiologist he was traveling in the train old man so suddenly he got heart attack and he collapsed in that bogey compartment seat and then all the relatives his wife was cardiologist his two sons both were cardiologists and their wives they were also cardiologists so some five six cardiologists all very close intimate uh, relatives they were around and among them he died in the train the running train so <laughs> even maybe a cardiologist but one cannot protect himself also forget about others so yamaraj doesn't spare anyone but if one surrenders to krishna yamaraj is mahajan so he salutes him like ajamil you can see yamadutas could not capture him and they became angry they thought at least yamaraj then personally could go and capture him because it seems that they those might have been wrong those four effulgent personalities but yamaraj said no they were not wrong they were correct and then he gave the instructions on bhagavad dharma and they were very clear then it was as long as yamaraj who causes everyone's death is present here no one shall meet with death the great sages have invited the controller of death yamaraj who is the representative of the lord living beings who are under the under his grip should take advantage by hearing the deathless nectar in the form of this narration of the transcendental past times of the lord this is instruction also so achieve deathlessness by hearing the nectarian past times of the lord propa says uh, in nectar of instruction a preacher of krishna katha is beyond the clutches of death a preacher of krishna katha is beyond the clutches of death this is based on that is in nectar of instruction propa writes but this is based on uh, what is that 1328 or what is that shloka number he says ayur harati bhai pomsam udyan astan chayan aso ियनियन when will not meet with his destruction he will go closer to krishna krishna katha takes us closer to krishna's lotus feet and any time we are not hearing krishna katha we are going closer to yamaraj's lotus feet anyway is mahajan but better to be always engaged in krishna katha once one brahmachari was uh, in temple in kunjavari days so there uh, he was taking prasadam and he was having earphones in his ears and he was walkman was there and he was hearing something like that so rajeshambhu happened to enter inside and said oh 
when will my ears be decorated with earphones hearing krishna katha while taking prasadam or other activities like that so it's very nice just like you know isn't it shunyaitam jag our nayanam gala dashru dharaya when will my eyes be decorated with tears of love flowing constantly when i chant your holy name so like that when will my ears be decorated with earphones always hearing krishna katha how much can we hear that is a question how many if you can hear one hour without any difficulty without getting fatigue now only i am seeing some signs but hopefully you will last through especially when i am the speaker worst speaker you got the prabhu very gracefully graciously he said thank you very much prabhu for accepting to <laughs> give our bhakti var bhuk classes two hours how many if you can without any interruption two hours you can hear three hours non stop hari bol jagdishwar mohan prabhu ki <laughs> four hours non stop five hours six hours seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen beyond this i cannot go because one hour is required for prasadam <laughs> and other things and uh, six hours for taking rest as a condition so like you not think of beyond 17 but it is good advancement in krishna consciousness is also how much can you hear how much you can chant also but that will come later first hearing in our i remember two gaur purnima festivals in shri radha gopina temple in mumbai uh, so because their temple opens at 5 o'clock so we entered at around 4:50 4:55 five minutes before or something and the altar opened and then Mangalati and all that thing till that was Gaur Purnima day. So His Holiness Radha Swami Maharaj gave lecture, and that because fasting, nothing to eat, nobody has to worry about that. That so the class only went till uh, I think one or two o'clock like that. I went in between three times I think for passing water because earlier days water is still in the body. So once I went uh, that day only one Gaur Purnima day, I was going to washroom. Uh, it was. just before uh, guru, uh, guru arti was uh, the uh, guru puja was ending because you know how much that uh, fight is there to get a place like nowadays it is too much i heard nowadays for shringar darshan also people don't get up that is too much but in those years i don't know which year 2007 it so that was not there so i was going it was maybe 7:45 7:50 something like that so when i was going suddenly from maharaj room side maharaj came and i was like that was not expected i did not know that he is coming So I was wondering what to do, and generally we pay obeisances, but I got confused. And meanwhile, Maharaj just embraced me, you know, tightly. And I was like, "Wow, Hari Bol!" And Gaur Porni Maade before Maharaj Maru was just coming for giving class. Just before he sits on Vasasan, which we'll speak for a long time, he embraced me. Wow, Hari Bol! And then he left. He just embraced me for maybe two, three, five seconds, and then he left. And then uh, again, then I bent because I had not paid obeisances. Then I was relieved. Relieved of water also, <laughs> and relieved of all the material tensions also, because Guru Maharaj embraced. So that was very nice. But otherwise, anyway, that went on till two o'clock or so. Then Maharaj said, "So today is Gaur Purnima day, and uh, we should uh, hear about Gaur Katha." Hmm? Mahaprabhu appeared today. So now we have senior devotees who will address you all. We have Radha Gopinath Prabhu, we have Shamanand Prabhu, and we have Dwarka Desh Prabhu, and going through also I think three four names he told. so you all can hear you know? and then the maharaj left and then there was announcement that 15 minutes devotees can stand up we'll have standing kirtan uh, dancing kirtan because you have been sitting for many hours it was like something like whatever 8:30 to 2 o'clock so then we had dancing kirtan and again we sat down and the next speaker came somebody radha gopinath prabhu shamanand prabhu then he spoke for 1 2 hours then again they had some 15 minutes of kirtan and then again next speaker next speaker and then evening uh, this thing that what is abhishek And that started and after that maharaj gave class something like that and then 9 o'clock maha arti maha gaur arti like that and somewhere 9:30 so i came out like that so i thought wow amazing 5 o'clock to around 9:30 so 17 17 and a half hours so amazing so we should hear throughout day and for that we need blessings of parikshit maharaj without his blessing nobody can hear 
in fact he can hear 27 24 by 7 also but at least several hours in a day we should be able to hear okay so this is 4 to 9 one last verse and then we'll take a break you can repeat after me mandasya manda pragyasya vayo manda yushascha cha yushascha vai nidraya riyate naktam divacha vyartha karma bihi this is talking about the special gift of human body is not for sense gratification lazy human beings with paltry intelligence and a short duration of life pass the night sleeping and the day performing activities that are for not this is similar to second canto of shrimad bhagavatam first chapter itself shukdev goswami says nidraya riyate naktam vivaye na chava vaya divacharte haya rajan kutumba bharane nava scolding the materialistic people and materialistic lifestyle he says their life uh, night goes in riyate naktam nidraya is it in sleeping or vivaya vivaya means sex life sex indulgence so in the night materialistic people are either sleeping or having sex and divacha arthe haya rajan daytime either in earning money for maintaining their family divacha arthe haya rajan kutumba bharane nava either earning money or maintaining the family members that's it they have nothing else in their life so lazy human beings do that way but we are not supposed to do like that we should be hearing krishna katha day in and day out day and night he saying that if the people are not supposed to waste their time then what should men do they should drink the nectar of the lord's pastimes okay so yes you are the shauna gurushi of this sabha it seems <laughs> if i am not asking because of what? all the devotees you are the saffron uh, one more is there if i am not asking uh, more question then no problem if you so, are echoing the questions in the hearts of other devotees that is good uh, but others also should not feel so shy they could right. also ask question so i heard that uh, uh, more more than shravan manan uh, is benefiting 100 time more benefited then Sh- uh, shravan when we do shravan if we do manan it is 100 time more benefited but manan on what you will do ah uh, so my point is um when we do shravan only and manan we that we don't do that much manan uh, so manan is, means you mean contemplation contemplation so is it also means uh, means sometime we miss out the manan and we sh- do shravan so uh, the um by default it will happen or we have to intentionally to do man when one comes to the mode of goodness contemplation is ongoing phenomenon before doing an act one thinks or before speaking one thinks while doing that activity or while speaking he is thinking after the action or the speech is over again he thinks how did i speak or how did i do that so contemplation is ongoing phenomenon in the mode of goodness and as long as we are in passion and ignorance it may be something outside of the whole thing and we may have to think how oh, i need to contemplate now what i heard or what i spoke or whatever so that becomes an separate activity in other modes but in goodness it's a ongoing phenomenon contemplation dumdugari case it is said that the the, the other people did not hear properly as uh, so they did not hear on the forget about manan अच्छा दे दे नॉट नॉट हियर प्रॉपर्ली दे वर देयर लाइक अ टाइम पास ओके चलो ओके इन इंडिया इट इज देयर ना कथा इज गोइंग ऑन गो एंड सिट पीपल सिट फॉर अ व्हाइल टू स्पेंड मींस इफ वी हियर प्रॉपर्ली मनन ऑटोमेटिकली दैट्स व्हाट व्हेन द विष्णु दूतास केम एंड देन दिस गोकर्ण ओनली रेज द क्वेश्चन अरे नॉट ओनली धुंधुकारी माय ब्रदर हर्ड बट दिस विलेजर्स एंड अदर्स आल्सो हर्ड ना इमीडिएटली दे सेड ओह नो 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 दे वर देयर जस्ट लाइक दैट कैजुअली दे वर सिटिंग dundukari for him it was question of life and death because he was suffering in the ghostly body so he heard with rapt attention knowing that this decides whether i will get next body elevation or i have to continue suffering others ah, were casual so when they heard my god we are casual and that's why we are not fit so but then one more question was asked but what about gokarna he also he was a speaker na he benefited his brother dundukari so he said oh, for him next time when you do katha personally lord vishnu will come for him not vishnu dutas we will not come lord personally will come so then uh, for next time it was arranged don't uh, gokarna was only the speaker 
and they took only dundukari with them vishnu dutta and when gokarna was the speaker now all these villagers and all they were with rapt attention last time we failed in the cbe oba presentation and uh, uh, class attendance now his class attendance was 100% but other things they failed so now we will not fail so they heard with our rapt attention so lord vishnu personally came for taking gokarna and all these people also sat in the same plane they all left for vaikuntha so hearing if it is not done properly where is the question of contemplation like i have to contemplate but for contemplation what like if you if i tell you don't think of a red monkey what contemplation goes on a red monkey why because you heard the word red monkey but you did not hear the earlier part don't think of a red monkey that yeah. red monkey red monkey hota hai kya maine to kabhi dekha nahi मूवीज में भी नहीं देखा यूट्यूब पे भी नहीं दिख रहा है ये क्या बोल रहे कौन सा रेड मंकी कंटेम्पलेशन आल्सो सम बैकग्राउंड ऑफ हियरिंग हैज़ टू बी देयर ना इफ आई टेल यू डोंट हैव यू टॉक टू जेम्स ब्रांडी इन लंदन आर यू एबल टू कंटेम्पलेट जेम्स ब्रांडी ऑफ लंडन कौन है प्रभु ये ब्रांडी पीता है इसलिए ब्रांडी है क्या सर नेम ब्रांडी है फॉर यूर काइंड इन्फॉर्मेशन आई ऑल्सो डोंट नो हुई जेम्स ब्रांडी I don't know whether somebody of this name exists ever on planet Earth or maybe in London. I don't don't know. So you see, unless you have heard, you can't contemplate. And when you are in the mode of goodness, you automatically contemplation is ongoing phenomenon, non-stop. Before doing action, you think. This is a think before you uh, speak and uh, uh, look before you leap. Before jumping, you look whether how much is the ditch. If it is fifteen feet. long and you are going to leap you will fall in the ditch not beyond that hmm? similarly thing before you speak so contemplation is ongoing phenomenon in the mode of goodness here what he says yeah okay so we'll take a break for how long 40 minutes okay we had thought na no? 17 hours we'll hear today huh. no, no sorry that uh, classroom norm we had not set i think that was my mistake i agree no problem tomorrow we'll set it <laughs> nobody will come for the class tomorrow <laughs> okay hari krishna we'll meet at 12:40 so 12:55 hari krishna materialistic people are not prepared so they uh, that proper said that man somebody who asked the doctor in alabad or somewhere oh doctor could you please give me four more years because you know i have some plans and execution of those plans will take four years so could you please extend my life by four years doctor says what four years i don't know whether i will be able to offer you four hours or four minutes or not mm, so that is not the way okay. anyway materialistic plan should not be there uh, in one sense ever or at least in the old age and all that old age is for para brahma hmm? he says na that balya avastha krida sakta taruna avastha taruni asakta uh, vruddha avastha chinta grasta para brahmani kopi na sakta at all phases of life childhood goes in playing youthful days in running after girls and uh, old age in worrying unnecessarily about too many things and one doesn't have time for the supreme lord only so old age is at least for the lord especially panchashordham vanam rajit after the age of 50 one should retire from active family life grahasthas and we also as brahmachari senior brahmachari we should not be too much holding on the departments and crazy after that let young devotees run the show you can guide if they want your guidance sometimes they may not want also we train them in the early stages like we train all the brahmacharis in pdc and next few more years and then let them run the departments and all that the seniors unnecessary no no i want to be the department head for this that creates uh, unnecessary disturbance for younger devotees nor is this senior able to uh, do because the, the world also changes the way the functioning is like that it happened happened in his uh, holiness radhan swami maharaj kartik yatra and all that the youngsters were facing difficulty young brahmacharis iits and all that so they there was kind of tension built up and all that 
So Maharaj eventually addressed calling all the seniors. He said, "Dear, let the young devotees handle the registration and all. It requires all computerized thing, and they are all IITians and NITians. They are expert at it. They know all the latest technology. And you fellows, you cannot handle the laptops, computers. For you, registration means you know, writing down in the what do you call that register and all that stuff. That is not the world is going quite fast. So let them run, and you can be." Doing some other other things, services and all that, so they all agreed. So they kind of took off. They lead the yatra, but not ground level. You must have seen that the registration table and all, all young brahmacharis and devotees are there. They are quite uh, what do you call, expert in that. So let go and live freely, or tyaga chantir anantaram. And when you let go. The these other services, physical services, and then you have higher services. You can do counseling. You can uh, sit with many others and guide them in higher aspects of Krishna. Younger devotees, they can train them in how to chant better and what mistakes you did, which they should not repeat. Otherwise, their time will be wasted. Those higher level services are available, provided you give up this. Not exactly lower level. You can say one, one sense lower level, like that. Otherwise, you are just stuck there only till last fag end of life. I will keep doing this only. That is not required. Attachment does not allow. Dutrasta only. Everybody is dutrasta to some degree or the other. Dhruta means holding, capturing. Rashtra means the chair or the kingdom. He is holding onto his chair like politician. Hey, I will die, but I will die on this chair only as MLA, Amdar, Khasdar. And after death also I will die like this, and you will not be able to take away the seat only. So take me to crematorium along with the whole chair. And burn me with that chair only. That only can act as funeral pyre, because it's wooden also. Like that. So so much attachment is not good. One should one should be attached to sadhus, but unfortunately we are attached to him. But as long as one is ruling, like here you can see Pandavas also they ruled fantastically for thirty six years or so. But as soon as they came to know Krishna has left this planet, immediately by Yudhishthira Maharaj, he removed his royal silk clothes and just wore simple white dhoti, not even kurta. And took a stick, which is also not straight stick, a little bit bent and all. And he held on to that, and he just left. And Bhima said, "Arey brother, where are you going?" He is a deaf only. Who Bhim? Who Arjun? Who Nakul? So they drop the no one. He just left. And Bhim ran behind him. And then Arjun, "Arey two brothers, both of you, Yudhishthir and Bhim, what are you doing? Where are you going?" He also ran, and one by one. But you can see what kind of detachment. So one requires to let go also. One can hold on to service when it is required or instructed to, but otherwise one should be able to have. This requires bigger expertise, greater expertise to let go. Holding on doesn't take much, but to let go, uh, to release it, it takes a lot of courage. So Parikshit also, we can see the moment he came to know he is cursed to die. He did not get into Indus. Who, who is that fellow, Brahman boy? I never saw in life. Shringi, where does he stay? That Shami Guru Shishya, na? Okay, let's go there now with the entire army, and we'll shoot him down, or get him here to the kingdom and put him in behind the bars. No question. Said okay. Lord wants me to let go. Immediately call ministers. Here is Janme Jai, his small boy. Afterwards, make him the prince. Uh, make him the king. Now he can be prince, and you all guide him. And I need to go. I have only seven days left. So this is much more expertise required to let go, which most of the people cannot do. How many of you see that in his con? Many devotees have difficulty to live. <laughs> my cabin, my this thing. I started this voice. I started this temple. I started this center. And I, you know, it. I don't know. Renovated the kitchen, and you are removing me from kitchen. I mean, I will die here, and I will be born as a cockroach also in this kitchen only. And I will touch all those machines which I purchased. <laughs> <laughs> Then one they will cur then they will crush you in one of those machines only. <laughs> so one should not be so attached. Very unfortunate, you know. After hearing so much philosophy, we are just uh, because why? Because we are not holding on to Krishna, to Krishna's lotus feet, and to Hare Krishna Mahamantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Those who hold on to holy name, to the lotus feet of Krishna. They were like any time they are ready. They are there, gross physical body, but subtle body is not there. Subtle body just Guru Agya and Krishna's lotus feet. 
and as soon as the moment their years gross years come to know that i am no more in this department hari bol <laughs> jai and you can see that uh, in uh, jayanand prabhu because he was mechanical engineer never was a hippie very nice gentleman honestly was a cab driver and then uh, because he was so qualified he would be immediately made president in any place he was in but then he would not feel that i am fit for this uh, post position he would uh, anyway some superior would give then he would, that superior is gone then he would uh, request other devotees no see prabhu you are much better you can be president and you see you have this qualification and this and that so that devotee would see that actually jayanand prabhu is far superior better than me but he has a strong desire that he wants to be free from this and he wants me to accept it okay as a service to jayanand prabhu i'll accept it so he would say okay prabhu i'll be president so he would make him president and again jayanand prabhu takes the broom and a dust collector and he starts sweeping the temple campus what an amazing person a mechanical engineer never was a hippie such a gentleman honest uh, cab driver and such a wonderful devotee brahmachari and taking pleasure in just imagine all over brahmachari is like this they take pleasure in sweeping the floors campus nobody is attached to any department how wonderful it would be isn't it that doesn't mean that they should not take your departments when instructed they should but otherwise not one should hold on to krishna's lotus feet and instructions by the guru that we hardly hear what what guru maharaj said i never heard prabhu i think you are wrong i never heard guru maharaj saying that so those who cannot capture the instructions of hari guru vaishnavas they will capture the departments the chair and the post position cabin cars and uh, what not all those stuff so let us be little detached at one point of time you have to give it all up here 100 years from now where will you be jagdishwar mohan bro will be in charge of which department <laughs> will you be the in charge of wagoli voice hmm? huh? gorilla i heard gorilla <laughs> I was wondering, ये क्या है? Some jungle he started voice for gorillas or what? <laughs> Burla did not struck me. After I heard the second time, then I understood. Burla. No problem. You can have gorilla voice also. Gorilla war is there, so I cannot be gorilla voice. That also can be. Anyway, our minds are like monkey only. Are superior to gorilla monkey. Some bunch of few devotees, new practitioners who have gorilla like mentality. it can be gorilla voice you can give some nice name hanuman voice or jambavan voice or what is sugriv voice some nice decent name so precautions have to be taken despite the fact the onslaught would be there okay so 11th so this is all ruling so we'll go a little fast what he says here Have to put a bookmark here. This is sixteen uh, point. Eleven. He says when Parikshit uh, uh, we ahead, it was somewhat pleasant also since he had the opportunity to punish him. Mm. So in Bhagavad Gita second chapter forty second verse, uh, Krishna says that mm, that uh, what he says, labha labo la ja ja. हतो वा प्राप्सी स्वर्ग जीतवा वा भोक्ष महिम दैट वन आर समेर हि सज दैट फॉर्चुनेट आर सम वर्ड इज यूज फॉर्चुनेट आर द क्षत्रिय हू गेट सच अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर फाइटिंग अन शॉर्ट विदाउट डेर सीकिंग ओनली सम अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर फाइटिंग कम क्षत्रिय आर वेरी हैप्पी हरी बो ऑल दे विल टेक आउट देअर शॉर्ट फॉर पीपल लाइक अस एनी टाइम वी कम टू नो सम डिस्टर्बेंस सम राइट्स आर गोइंग वॉट राइट सो वील नॉट गो आउट साइड द टेम्पल ओनली बिकॉज वी आर नॉट क्षत्रिय maybe brahmana or whatever so but chatriya will really you know like traffic jam you have seen no sometimes traffic jam immediately some youngsters will come and they will self appointed traffic police they will immediately ha ah, they will call loudly and all that so some people are very really dynamic they have chatriya kind of nature so he was very happy in that regard he was happy but there no question that he will be happily allowing kali to go on next 11th maharaj parikshit sat on a chariot drawn by black horses his flag was marked with the sign of a lion this is contrast to arjun's chariot there it was tatah shweter hayer yukte hmm. his uh, chariot had 
white horses. His flag was marked with the sign of a lion, whereas Arjun's was Kapidvaja, uh, sign of Hanumanji. That was gifted to him by Varun because when Khandavan was to be burnt, so that time, because it was in assistance to uh, Agni's problem, who one king, oh, I forgot the name, who had performed a sacrifice and in that he offered a lot of ghee and Agni happened to take so much ghee, he had indigestion. So he had to eat on the forest, but Indra had protected that forest. So he was not able to. So when he sought Arjun and Krishna's help, so then uh, uh, he said, Arjun said, I need a charioteer. I need a bow and all that. So then all these things were arranged by Agni Dev by requesting Varun Dev. So Varun Dev gave him a very nice chariot with those white horses, etc. And also he gave Gandhi bow. Arjun got Gandhi bow. To Krishna, he awarded Kaumudiki uh, club for his fighting, etc. Though Krishna was supposed to be charioteer anyway. So his uh, a Parikshis flag was marked with the sign of a lion. Being so decorated and surrounded by charioteers, cavalry, elephants and infantry soldiers, he left the capital to conquer in all directions. Hmm. Okay, this was uh, this was 11th. So 11th was that uh, they're happy. Okay. Earlier commentary by Vishnu Chakti Thakur was anything other than hearing about the Lord is useless. Twelfth. Maharaj Parikshit then conquered all parts of the earthly planet Bhadrashva, Ketumal, Bharat, the Northern Kuru, Kimpurusha, etc. and exacted tributes from their respective rulers. So we can see he is having the qualities of Arjun also. Arjuna was sent in north for Rajasya sacrifice by Yudhishthi Maharaj. So similar description comes in Mahabharat that he how he crossed Bharat Varsha. Then he went to the next one. Which is next to Bharat? Is it Ketumal? You know, nine dvipas. Uh, sorry, seven dvipas in Jambudvip. Nine Varshas in the Jambudvip. Seven uh, dvipas are there. But in that middle one is Jambudvip. In that nine Varshas are there. The southernmost is uh, Bharat Varsha. So, which is above Bharatwarsh, beyond Himalaya. Okay, whichever it was. But he also went to Badrashwa, Ketumal, Northern Kuru, Kimpurush. Arjun also, uh, when he was going, he reached, uh, which one? Kimpurush or somewhere he reached. One after other he was crossing and um, having fights and defeating those kings and getting wealth, etc. So, when he reached one particular, then there the soldiers and all that guards, they said, Arjun, not beyond this. Beyond this, human beings are not allowed. So we request you not to go. And you have already conquered enough. This much is enough for Yudhishthi Maharaj to uh, perform his Rajasui Yagi, etc. And uh, anyway, things beyond this are not visible also to human beings. So you won't be able to see much. So you you go like that. So he accepted their instructions and all that. And then he came back to Bharat Varsha and uh, to Hastinapur. So Parikshit is also very powerful. He also imagine how many of us can go to Kimpurushwars, Ketumal. No question. Uh, if we reach uh, some other countries here and there, that is good enough. Even I think this uh, South uh, Pole is not much uh, done. No? Arctic, Antarctic, what? Which one? Antarctica. Antarctica and all. It's uh, very far off and all. If you see the world map in the middle, you know something like that. You know, Bharatwarsh, it is there. And then below, some uh, continents are there, Africa and South America. But if you see vast portion, long distance later is the South Pole. North Pole, that is not the case. North Pole in one sense, that, uh, what that, uh, Greenland or what, Siberia, Canada, that is there somewhat. But that goes close to North uh, Pole. But South Pole is very far, lost, a lot of water, water, water. So we cannot go here also. But uh, Parikshit Maharaj is powerful. 13 to 15. Wherever the king visited, he continuously heard the glories of his great forefathers, who were all devotees of the Lord, and also of the glorious acts of Lord Krishna. He also heard how he himself had been protected by the Lord from the powerful heat of the weapon of Ashwatthama. People also mentioned the great affection between the descendants of Rushni and Prutha due to the latter's great devotion to Lord Keshav. 
the king being very pleased with the singers of such glories opened his eyes in great satisfaction out of magnanimity he was pleased to award them very valuable necklaces and clothing i have been reading a bhagavat mahabharat for last few days so very amazing affectionate dealings between krishna and uh, pandavas are there very high class but uh, unfortunately time is not there we get into that um, so amazing mm-hmm. so many discussions like when uh, arjun uh, when uh, arjun won the hand of draupadi in swayamvar but what happened the uh, marriage did not happen he just got her and they were all wondering there mm-hmm. drupad uh, drushtake uh, drushtadumna and many other that who are these powerful brahmanas because they were all grown up beard because they had left varanavat long before 7 months they had stayed in uh, what is that uh, nityan prabhu's birthplace ek chakra dham etc he had killed bakasur there you know? so nobody knew and they were wondering what happened so anyway they come back and uh, here after coming after some days they marry long story but i'm just cutting it short so then narad muni once visited pandavas in the forest and uh, he told them Uh, not in forest i think they had come back to hastinapur so it said that uh, there were two demons uh, kumbha and nishu nikumbha nikshumbha so these two brothers were invincible they were very powerful nobody could kill them only boon was they could kill each other only and they were such thick friends so ultimately brahma ji created a very special beautiful apsara tilottama and he sent her and when she came immediately one of them maybe elder brother kumbha or whatever oh she is exactly fit to be my wife and your sister <laughs> he said no not like that she is fit to be my wife and you can accept her as your younger sister so they fought, and then they fought like anything and they killed each other simultaneously they attacked and they killed so narad muni told see you are five and draupadi is one so similar thing should not happen so you better have some kind of contract some kind of discussion as to what norms codes of conduct will follow so then they all decided that she will be with one person one husband for some time and that time nobody should intrude nobody from the four other four should intrude and if he intrudes comes in then he will be ban- banished from the kingdom for one year or something so once it so happened that one brahmana's cows were stolen by thieves and he came crying but exactly that time yudhishthir maharaj the king was involved with uh, uh, draupadi and uh, arjun was the one who attended to him and then when he came to know that his cattle are taken away now it is the duty of the king to protect otherwise that man and everybody else will say what nonsense you could not uh, protect your citizen and cattle etc so but then what to do now my bow and other things are inside if i go then that is breaking up the rule that we have set we have decided then he thought the prestige of the king his reputation is more important i don't mind getting banished and all that so then he goes inside he knocks the door and then he announces after opening the door that i am arjun i am entering for taking my bow and arrows and he goes and yudhishthira maharaj understands arjun has come that means some uh, just cause is there and anyway then he kills those thieves etc and the brahmanas uh, thank him then arjun comes back then yudhishthira maharaj receives him bhima receive and they said thank you amazing you protected our uh, Uh, reputation etc then after they all say then he says i now please give me blessing i need to leave this place i need to go to forest uh, in a sense our, as per our agreement one year missing then yudhishthira said no that is not uh, that was emergency situation it not not and that also you knock the door you followed the norms properly he said no arjun doesn't agree only he said let me follow the virtue then they agree and then he goes to several places amazing and in that one shot one year only he marries three <laughs> women so he goes in one place and then he is uh, taken down by one nag kanya and she proposes he says no i cannot uh, consort with my wife this is that truly is only with draupadi i am not draupadi and i am also having desire for union with you so you must accept i know dharma also so then he agrees and then he marries her and they have a union and then she becomes pregnant and she was uh, what is the name ha huh? ah she was ulupi correct ulupi and then next he goes to manipur and there chitrangada was one who was attracted to him and but the father of chitrangada i think her his name was kauravya or somebody king he says for manipur the son should become the king but unfortunately i don't have son i have only this daughter Uh, so you chitrangada so you can accept her provided you 
give your son to me as the next king of the manipur then he says okay no problem so he agrees and then he gets uh, after three months he comes to know she is having conceiving a child so then he leaves her to her father's place and tells afterwards i'll take you when i go back to kingdom so then he likes a long story but afterwards beginning of chaturmas he comes to dwarka hmm? and then he sees huge nice description he enters there he is a sadhu so everybody allows him inside so then he meets krishna and in childhood only when arjun was studying under drona in drona's gurukul gada one of the cousin brothers of krishna also had come one of the names of krishna is gada agraj you know that krishna is the elder brother of gada so krishna's name is gada agraj gada agraj but gada is younger cousin brother of krishna so he had come and there only in childhood he had described to arjun the beauty of subhadra hmm, krishna's sister what a beautiful girl she is and arjun had decided that time only that i have to get her so now anyway he had come to this thing so he discusses uh, with krishna and krishna says yes she is fit to be for you only but unfortunately dauji has decided to marry her with uh, duryodhan others are not happy about that but uh, but don't worry and then krishna tells him the whole plan and you know the story how <laughs> balram ji invites him as a sanyasi and then the way he looks at subhadra subhadra gets struck at heart why is this sanyasi looking at me like this and afterwards krishna meets subhadra privately and says uh, so what about your marriage with duryodhan are you happy she says no 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 he is he is not <laughs> i don't want to marry him but how can i tell balram ji and all that then he asks what about arjun you feel hmm? he is pandav and he says yeah i have heard about him a lot and uh, so uh, he says then krishna reveals that arjun is there in our kingdom he is roaming around for you only and then uh, as a sanyasi something he gives a hint then she understood oh that sanyasi the other day came and repeatedly he was called maybe he is same arjun she she understand and then krishna says yes but hold on he'll do something and then arjun gets her also anyway long story we went too far <laughs> but the point is why i went there what are the point here but uh, mahabharat is very intoxicating you will go crazy <laughs> Anyway, I went crazy. You also went crazy. Nobody remembers what was the context here, huh? Ah, huh, so there. Now, uh, now the remaining part of that Mahabharat. So then, uh, I'll just little bit. So then, uh, long story. You know all. So then, Balram ji agrees because Krishna says we should marry. He's a powerful warrior and uh, aligning uh, aligning with uh, Pandavas is very good. so then the marriage happens our krishna comes and all relatives come here in hastinapur when krishna is leaving all others leave early but krishna and satyaki remain satyaki learns archery from arjun he wanted to and so after many days and months so when they are leaving krishna climbs on the chariot and satyaki also climb immediately yudhishthir maharaj takes the reins in his hand our uh, yudhishthir maharaj is expert charioteer hmm. so then uh, he starts driving then immediately bhima gets on the chariot and he holds uh, uh, umbrella then arjun comes and he does chamar and then nakul and sahadev they are on left and right of uh, krishna on the road and moving the people aside and making the way and and they walk long distance krishna is on chariot but these others are walking and all that some 4 5 km away and then krishna says now please go back you know <laughs> you will come to dwarka or what so then they they are very reluctant they don't want krishna to go away only then our yudhishthir says please come back at the earliest like that and then here after some days of being here raja this uh, khand uh, what you call indraprastha is ready etc then he thinks how krishna can be called and then he gets this idea of rajasu yagya long story but he gets that idea and then he says okay this is very good idea we will get krishna here now <laughs> so they had lot of affection krishna had affection for pandavas and pandavas had for krishna that he says na kam uh, bhayat uh, kam sah What is it? Dwesha chedya dayan rupo ho, snehat. What is it? Kama gopya kama bhayat kamsa ha, dwesha chedya dayon rupa ha, sambanda drushna yaha, snehat yuyam na, bhaktya vayam vibho, bhaktya vayam vibho. Hmm. So sambanda drushna yaha. Drushni is where uh, relatives hmm, for Krishna, but. पांडवाज वेर स्नेहाद 
snehad yuyam you all narad muni is saying snehad you had so much affection for krishna so not had you have because krishna is there rajasu uh, yagya of yudhishthira maharaj next uh, 13 to 15 mm. uh, he that we already discussed so everywhere he went he heard the glories of krishna and uh, affectionate dealing between krishna and the pandavas he was very happy he awarded the singers in the purport process krishna and his unalloyed devotees cannot be separated and therefore glorifying the devotees devotee means glorifying the lord and vice versa see krishna is never alone krishna is always with his devotees that's why mayavadi is there krishna in the picture maybe only krishna but our krishna will have all personal is you know behind at least yamuna will be there or a calf will be there some devotee some bird somebody krishna will be with the devotee he cannot be alone so glorifying devotee is equivalent to glorifying krishna so we should take pleasure madhyam adhikari means takes play more pleasure in serving vaishnavas than even krishna kanishtha adhikari means he only thinks krishna is in the deity form he is only stuck there only that is not a problem it is required for him but eventually madhyam adhikari means he knows serving vaishnavas is more important than serving the lord next 16 maharaj parikshit heard that out of his causeless mercy lord krishna vishnu who is universally obeyed rendered all kinds of service to the malleable sons of pandu by accepting posts ranging from chariot driver to president to messenger friend night watchman etc according to the will of the pandavas obeying them like a servant and offering obeisances like one younger in years when he heard this maharaj parikshit became overwhelmed with devotion to the lotus feet of the lord so you can see that just by hearing he got darshan of the lord so hearing is darshan that's why philosophy is called in sanskrit as darshan shastra darshan avas is pratyakshita panta hearing by uh, seeing by hearing we see not with these eyes with hearing so he heard everywhere he went all this krishna's mercy and how krishna took different roles as per the time and requirement for the pandavas he was so happy the devotion aroused in his eyes it became overwhelming just like when we take the beautiful darshan of the lordship you may be overwhelmed so same effect will be there by hearing also if we hear with rapt attention Seventeenth. Now you may hear from me of what happened while Maharaj Parikshit was passing this his days, hearing of the good occupations of his forefathers, and being absorbed in thought of them. So this is ten to seventeen. Parikshit as a conqueror against the effects of Kali. Eighteen to twenty-four is conversion of earth and dharma. Eighteenth, the personality of religious principles, dharma, was wandering about in the form of a bull, and he met that met the personality of earth in the form of a cow, who appeared to grieve like a mother who had lost her child. She had tears in her eyes, and the beauty of her body was lost. Thus, dharma questioned the earth as follows: In the purport proposes, when the bull and the cow are in a joyful mood, it is to be understood that the people of the world are also in a joyful mood. the reason is that the bull helps production of grains in the agricultural field and the cow delivers milk the miracle of aggregate food values mother cow we say seven mothers one son mother the nurse apart from mother assisting mother then king's wife brahmana's wife guru's wife mother earth and mother cow these are the seven mothers for every human being and bull is accordingly a father because father is the one who gets the grains etc and mother is the one who cooks and offers or she also offers the milk so we get grains because of the bull he is tilled in the land and then that's how grains grow so that's why bull is considered the father so then when they are taken care mother and father are taken care of in any society then the society is very joyful proper says you can know any society how happy they are people just by seeing how happy the cows are there but in the current society you can see there so called uh, prosperity is there huge skyscraper building mobiles laptops fast moving vehicles skyscrapers and uh, uh, posh roads uh, flyovers etc 
but then the cows are not happy they are not taken care nicely that's why the people are miserable in this skyscraper building while use, using laptop mobiles cars their lives the heart is not happy so it's directly proportional happiness of the cows directly our happiness of human beings is directly proportional to happiness of cows and bulls So this was his everyday procedure, Vishnu Jagdha Thakur says. Everywhere he was hearing. 19th, Dharma is saying now, when he met a bull, a Dharma in the form of bull, a Dharma, not Parikshin, now Dharma is meeting earth, who is in the form of a cow. So Dharma questioned the earth as follows. Dharma in the form of a bull asked, Madam, are you not hell and hell hearty? Why are you covered with the shadow of grief? It appears by your face that you have become black. Are you suffering from some internal disease or are you thinking of some relative who is away in a distant place? There can be a number of reasons a person could be unhappy. So he's uh, trying to guess few things. Because of internal disease or away from some relative or some relative away from you. Prabhupada in purport says, the particular symptom of the age of Kali is that no family is now blessed to live together. My God, this you can see horribly. All over India also. Forget about the other parts of the, you know. I know our devotee also. You know, the husband is working in Raibareli. Wife is working some other part, Allahabad or Prayag or somewhere. And then the father and mother somewhere. They are also working. Father is here, mother is there. And then I ask that devotee, when will you four come together? Then once in a year we come together. I say, thank you. So, and this is anyway within India, but some people, their son is in Austin, or Boston, or Boston, and so daughter is in Houston, and they are here, and all varieties of things. People are lonely in their houses. First of all, joint families are not there, nuclear family. And a nuclear family also ultra-nuclear, in a sense. The nucleus, all the electrons have <laughs> evaporated from valence band in the outer sky. Somebody is here, somebody is there. When my mommy left body, eldest, four mommies I have. So when she left body, her son, my cousin brother, he was in America. So then uh, he came to know and then he has to fly, he has to put a leave, all that stuff. So then what to do here? It will take time. Body in India is burnt within few hours only. So then he told them that you put it in that, what they call refrigerator, something there, huh? deep freezer or something. Like uh, so... So they kept it for two, three days. And then he flew from America to here. And then the body was taken out. And then final rites were done. You can imagine. And worse still is my Atya. Son was just here only in Bangalore. This was during that active lockdown. So my Fufa, Atya's husband in Kalyan, he left body. So they informed him and he said, I will immediately fly. They said, sister, two sisters here. And if you fly to Mumbai airport, immediately you will be quarantined there. For that what? 19 days or what? 18? 14, 14 days, na? Something. In the beginning, how much it was? 14 only? 14. Uh, 14 days you will be quarantined at the Bombay airport or somewhere there. It will be useless. You don't worry. You be in Bangalore only. We will only do the final ride. So these two sisters, the eldest one, hmm? Sonali. And so she, they had that uh, furnace, na? electric furnace. So she pressed the button and uh, final rites were done and she collected the ash and uh, whatever. So imagine, one son he has, who is, uh, I think he is one of the managers in Samsung company in Bangalore, something like that, a big person. He could not come for final rites also. So this is the current day affair, lifestyle of people. Vishwanachakta uh, Thakur writes, the moment Kali Yuga had started uh, Dharma, the earth and Kali appeared in this situation. When the moment Kali Yuga started, Dharma, the earth and Kali appeared in this situation. Though this was not seen by the people, Parikshit who meditated with a desire to see this, saw it with his mystic eyes. Parikshit was having mystic eyes also. 20th. I have lost my three legs and I am now standing on one only. Are you lamenting for my state of existence? 
or are you in great anxiety because henceforward the unlawful meat eaters will exploit you or are you in a solitary pli sorry plight because the demigods are now bereft of their share of sacrificial offerings because no sacrifices are being performed at present or are you grieving for living beings because of their sufferings due to famine and drought so these are all the auspicious things of life but is any one of them missing in your life you know is hampered that's what he's asking similarly uh, this is 16 so um, i think 14 chapter krishna's disappearance or 14 na no? after rudrashtra quit some no you are, you last time you must have discussed na no? 14 chapter or no so first can't only so there you can see when arjun comes back from Dwarka. Seven months he was in Dwarka when he returned to Hastinapur and Yudhishthi Maharaj already had seen so many bad omens in the sky, on land and water, etc. And Arjun comes with a gloomy face. Then immediately Yudhishthi Maharaj asks several questions. I don't know how many, but 10, 15, 20 questions. So all those questions are very important. They are all etiquettes. You know, is it that some woman approached and you could not uh, give protection or this happened or that happened? So these are all etiquettes to be followed or norms in society. Similarly, here also he's asking all these things. Are the demigods denied their, they are denied their sacrifices. That's why you are unhappy. Or I have lost three legs. Are you unhappy about that? So like that. So that means these are all things should be there in life in society. Prabhupada has given long purport. lot of discussion about Mlechas because this is fellow is a Mlecha. Uh, he is appearing to be a king, but he is not. So that's why, who are the Mlechas? Prabhupada says, those who accept meat in terms of scriptural injunctions are not Mlechas. But those who accept meat without restriction are called Mlechas. Our six Puranas out of 18 are catering to or for people in the mode of ignorance. So ignorant people, they want to eat meat. So scriptures do allow. Okay, you can eat meat, but on only on Amavasya night, you have to cut the goat's throat. But before that, you have to uh, speak in the ears, Mamsa, Mamsa khadati iti Mamsa. In this life, I am killing you for eating your flesh. Next lifetime, you can kill me. I will be goat, you will be human being. You can kill me, you can. So like that recommendation is there. And after several times doing this, he will come to sanity, to understanding that I should not be doing. I am preparing a ghastly future for myself. So he will avoid that. So that is okay. That person is not a mlecha. But people without restrictions just open slaughterhouses, so many meat shops, so many. In Muslims, they have that halal mutton and uh, they write halal only because halal is, halal is considered uh, what you call like uh, prasad we say. Na? Bhoga is offered to the Lord, then it is prasad. So like that they have concept in Islam that if it, that goat is offered to Allah or I don't know what it is, then it becomes halal. That means bona fide meat. By eating this meat, you won't have any sin. And other, I think they don't ever advertise. Haram maybe. Halal and haram. So haram will never be advertised because haram no Muslim will purchase. Like that. And anyway, Hindus are also unrestricted. They don't worry. Halal, haram, anything will do. They keep eating. So this is not, this is mlecha then. So mlecha is not some portion of the world you can stamp. Oh, America means all mlechas. Or Mongolia means all mlecha. No. It is nothing to do with the geographic location. It is to do with the people's lifestyle and mentality. Just like Brahman is not born Brahmin, but it is by qualities and activities. Guna karma vibhagasya. So likewise, this also. Prabhupada talks a lot about mlechas. The mlechas, however, make plans to install slaughterhouses for killing bulls and cows along with other animals, thinking that they will prosper by increasing the number of factories and live on animal food without caring for performance of sacrifices and production of grains. But they must know that even for the animals, they must produce grass and vegetables. Otherwise, the animals cannot live. So, uh, tilling the land is required. For the devotees, there is no need for performance of prescribed sacrifices because the very life of the devotee is a symbol of sacrifice. Amazing. Life of a devotee is only symbol of sacrifice. Amazing. Kind of uh, yagya personified only. Good. Twenty-first. Are you feeling compunction 
for the unhappy women and children who are left forlorn by unscrupulous person so we see in society so many women are just loitering here and there there no one uh, so they don't want to get married also and they are staying away from parents also somewhere in bangalore whitefield you go in whitefield area of bangalore on the road you'll find thousands of young boys and girls all software engineers there are a lot of it's a software hub so many boys and girls they, they have come some from north india south india east india west india central india they are all there likewise in hyderabad also high tech city madhapur and several other places bombay pune we have karadi nagarpatta mm, uh, some two more ninjewadi and one or two more it's like that that's where we are having our centers also <laughs> to serve those software engineers so many children and women are like that and then they will be misused by unscrupulous person or are you unhappy because the goddess of learning is being handled by brahmanas addicted to acts against the principles of religion mm, saraswati devi mm, these brahmanas claim oh, we are learned we know so many scriptures very proud brahmanas or are you sorry to see that the brahmans are ha have taken shelter of administrative families that do not respect brahmanical culture so brahmanas are being fed by kshatriyas and the kshatriyas don't have any uh, what you call respect for brahmana they, they are paltu kutte hamare ghar mein hamare rajya mein hum khilate hai isliye inka chalta hai to when the brahmanas are hearing that but still you know kya kare papi pet ka sawal hai uh, so this kind of topsy turvy situation of the society propa in the middle of the purport says education and bad character go ill together but such things will run parallel now we can see so many educated people such have bad you know character so many uh, what you call uh, graduates post graduates who are smokers who are drunkards and even womanizers meat eaters all that stuff Twenty second. The so-called administrators are now bewildered by the influence of this age of Kali, and thus they have put all state affairs into disorder. Are you now lamenting this disorder? Now the general populace does not follow the rules and regulations for eating, sleeping, drinking, mating, etc., and they are inclined to perform such anywhere and everywhere. Are you unhappy because of this? it's a common sight so many even young educated people also on the road here there some tapari they'll be eating there they'll be sitting like that even in big cities even maybe small towns also some kind of hotels nowadays they have a table there and round table or whatever and they have four people and they are all standing and eating there there's no chair only there not that that fellow has no space or uh, no money that owner has lot of money but this is one style modern life standing and eating there god knows what kind of thing ideally one should never stand and eat even water should be taken while sitting one should not be standing you know, so many people standing only they drink water they will take bisleri bottle they will bring while walking also while walking they will put and they will walking it's time saving <laughs> multitasking simultaneous so this is not the proper human civilization but unfortunately these things are there in kali yuga so he is asking her are you unhappy because of this so many bad things happening then he is uh, in the commentary vishwan chakra thakur writes are women are women not protected by their husbands the children are not protected by the parents moreover they are suffering because of merciless persons are you lamenting about apparent learned words devim vacham being spoken in brahmin families of bad conduct are you lamenting about those of noble family who are serving kings who have no devotion to the brahmins 23rd o mother earth the supreme personality of godhead hari incarnated himself as lord shri krishna just to unload your heavy burden all his activities here are transcendental and they cement the path of liberation you are now bereft of his presence you are probably now thinking of those activities and feeling sorry in their absence see here also and there also yudhishthir maharaj arjun you can see amazingly towards the end they are coming to that real point also uh, that main uh, core thing and there also he says so many thing 
is it that you could not protect this that you know and then towards the end he says or is it that krishna has left for the spiritual world and here also he's saying or are you unhappy because there also arjuna is unhappy and uh, yudhishthir is guessing and here mother earth in the form of cow is unhappy and uh, dharma is uh, kind of guessing and she will say also yes this is the reason because last shloka will be like that Twenty fourth, mother, you are the reservoir of all riches. Please inform me of the root cause of your tribulations by which you have been reduced to such a weak state. I think that the powerful influence of time, which conquers the most powerful, might have forcibly taken away all your fortune, which was adored even by the demigods. So time is very powerful. You can say one of the most powerful. Krishna says, "Kalosmi loka shayakrut pravruddho." time i am the destroyer of the three worlds three worlds that means 14 planetary system upper middle lower all three worlds tribhuvan are destroyed by time yeah? when mahavishnu will in hell hmm? or even when brahma ji's night starts what happens lower 11, 11 planetary systems they are all gone they are destroyed pralay hmm? bhurlok or below that atal vital sutal talatal mahatal rasatal patal Middle one, Bhur log, then Bhuvar log, Janna log, how many? And Swarga log. Hmm? This seven, and then four, eleven are destroyed. Only top three remain: Tapa log, Mahar log, Satya log, something like that. So time is very powerful. Nothing remains. So many Eiffel Tower. Will it be there after ten thousand years? Hmm? Our gateway of India, Taj Mahal. Hmm? So so many problems everywhere. and everything will be destroyed time itself keeps destroying you can see in our uh, what you call uh, car glasses etc we put hari krishna mahantra sticker and just see as the days months pass by because sunlight is acting on that hmm. so it slowly slowly fades away words you cannot read so well hmm. and then sometimes because of water falling on it you do it it's brushed only the white paper remains stuck somewhat here and there so time destroys everything but time does not destroy one thing cannot which is that desires continue ignorance ignorance will never be destroyed agyan cannot be destroyed by time in fact it can increase also people become more and more ignorant agyan can be destroyed only by guru who is representative of krishna and krishna his manifestation only is kala the time so that's why one should surrender to guru om agyana timirandasya gyananjana shalaka switch master with the torch light of knowledge opens one's eyes when one is born in the dark dark uh, lifestyle so true what is saying time is very powerful very powerful empires and all that you know all said if you go to jhansi ka kila how many of you gone jhansi i had been there our temple is there next hardly half kilometer or is con temple of jhansi and you can from temple terrace and upper floor you can see the jhansi fort also because that is high above the ground level so now what remains only the fort is there all the glory and all is gone it is there as a site people go inside shiva temple is there i think ganesh temple like that because she was also great devotee of lord shiva etc but after some years that also won't remain 1000 years from now 2000 years from now already when uh, british people attacked they uh, they wanted to attack and they were coming closer and these people also on the top were ready with the cannons and all that so the women who were assisting her they said should we shoot hmm? to lakshmi bai she said uh, no because they are hiding behind shiva temple which was some some few meters away they are also very cunning fellows british they knew if we hide behind temple these hindus can never attack temple so so she said no wait you know if we shoot on them the temple will be destroyed you know, so we cannot destroy dharma we have to be protectors of them and those fellows had already uh, what you call given bribe to the gate keepers and all and then they all entered inside she was ready with some 1000 warrior women they attacked but then 
they were less in strength only and eventually she sat on that horse uh, tufan i think tufan or something and she jumped he was very powerful she jumped down and she ran she went to gwalior took shelter but the hindu king there only they informed the british this rani is here you can con- come and capture her what nonsense she ran away from there also so this kind of now at least some history is there and some historical sites are there eventually the sites would be lost and even this history will be also destroyed 10000 years from now 1 lakh years 10 lakh years there will be no name jansi ki rani lakshmi bai nothing scriptures will remain the same bhagavatam will remain the same from lakhs kaliyuga is going to remain for 4 lakh 27000 more years bhagavatam will be the same all this parikshit maharaj will be heard lakhs and lakhs of years later also okay 25th he says uh, vishnu chakra ko remembering the activities of the lord was appeared or who appeared to relieve your burden the activities made liberation a laughing stock vilambitani because of their sweetness the syllables do and lo can be exchanged okay so hearing the past times of the lord makes even liberation of the characteristic in bhava bhakti two characteristics which are they ah moksha lagu takrit moksha lagu takrit means liberation is made very insignificant when one practices bhava bhakti stage reaches for him liberation is insignificant in sadhan bhakti stage he may have attraction for bhukti and mukti material sense gratification and liberation but bhava bhakti makes liberation appear insignificant moksha laguta krut krut is made lagu laguta It appears insignificant next 25th the earthly deity in the form of a cow thus replied to the person personality of religious principles in the form of a bull o dharma whatever you have inquired from me shall be known to you i shall try to reply to all those questions once you too were maintained by your four legs and you increased happiness all over the universe by the mercy of the lord so it's like now he asked her question now she is going to also say something and inquire about him in the purport purposes happiness in the world depends proportionately on the maintenance of the religious principles individually or collectively the best part of valor is to maintain the principles despite all kinds of odds we have to maintain the principles so many odds will be against us but the principle should be followed and the highest principle is to surrender to krishna and propad we can see despite all the odds against him bad health no money nobody known in western countries but he left to spread sanatan dharma sankirtan dharma and so the principle should be protected despite all the odds ag- being against 26 to 30 five shlokas are together mother earth is saying in him reside in him means krishna uh, she is giving 40 qualities truthfulness cleanliness intolerance of another's unhappiness the power to control anger self satisfaction straight forwardness steadiness of mind control of the sense organs responsibility equality tolerance equanimity faithfulness knowledge absence of sense enjoyment leadership chivalry influence the power to make everything possible the discharge of proper duty complete independence dexterity fullness of all beauty serenity kind heartedness ingenuity gentility magnanimity determination perfection of all perfection in all knowledge proper execution possession of all objects of enjoyment joyfulness immovability fidelity fame worship pridelessness being as the as the personality of god eternity and many other transcendental qualities which are eternally present and never to be separated from him that personality of godhead the reservoir of all goodness and beauty lord sri krishna has now closed his transcendental pastimes on the face of the earth in his absence the age of kali has spread its influence everywhere so i am sorry to see this condition of existence so first she is saying directly this only that uh, he in his absence kali is flourishing 
in the purport prophecy lord ananta dev has tried to expound the transcendental qualities of the supreme lord with his numberless tongues and that for numberless years together it has been impossible to estimate the qualities of the lord how many qualities because she has enumerated enlisted some 40 qualities but there are many more unlimited qualities lord has towards the end of that paragraph he says he appears to be partial to his devotees but factually the matter rests on the living being to accept or reject equal treatment by the Lord. All devotees can become, all people can become devotees of the Lord and get equal treatment. Krishna will be inclined to them, favorable to them. Third paragraph beginning, he says, the 14th quality, knowledge, can be further extended into five subheadings. Namely, intelligence. So knowledge, when we possess, what it, it means? Intelligence. Buddhi hona chahiye. Gratefulness. See, one who is in knowledge, he is grateful. They say, na, if you are not grateful, you are a great fool. Grateful is G-R-A-T-F-U-L, but otherwise G-R-E-A-T, great, F-O-O-L, fool. So if one is not grateful, he is a great fool. So gratitude is also a sign of knowledge. If we have knowledge, we will be grateful. But unfortunately, you can see, after some years of practice in Krishna consciousness, our gratitude is not that much. Why? Because ignorance has overpowered us. Our ignorance is not eradicated only from our heart. That's why our gratitude went down or it did not increase at all. So don't think knowledge means just knowing thousands of slokas. Though in Bhakti Vaibhav, you will have sloka memorization test. And you have to compulsorily memorize some few. Or I think this canto 22 slokas are there maybe. Hmm? Something like that. Maximum is for first canto, I think. Then other uh, second canto, 9. Third canto, 11. And fourth canto also, I think, 11. Recently, I happened to give so something like that. So not much. This has maximum. But that is not that's just one thing. Intelligence is there, but gratitude. Power of understanding the circumstantial environments of place, object and time. This also, time, place, circumstances. How to... Understand the situation. Perfect knowledge of everything and knowledge of the self. Only fools are, fools are ungrateful to their benefactors. So we should not become fools. Next paragraph, end Prabhupada says, This material world is a product of the Mahat Tattva, which is a state of the Lord's dreaming condition in his Yoga Nidra, mystic slumber in the causal ocean. And yet the whole creation appears to be a factual presentation of his creation. This means that the Lord's dreaming conditions are also factual manifestations. And towards the end, he says, the planets in the spiritual sky are at least three times the number of those within the innumerable universes in the Mahat Tattva. So this is Ekpad Vibhuti and spiritual planets are Tripad Vibhuti, that manifestation. In the commentary, he also has a long commentary, but we will not get into that. The all qualities are described. Titiksha is tolerance when others offend you. So we say Titiksha... So, when others offend us, how we become unsettled? Even during universal destruction, these qualities do not disappear. The past time, the participants in the past time, the places of the past times and all ingredients are eternal. Lord's past times. Okay, time is over. Any question? The remaining few shlokas will cover tomorrow. Yes. Which reading? Oh. Continuously hear. Oh. What, what reading also means. Yeah. That is also same. Reading is also hearing only because it's a recorded sound. In particular, Prabhupada's case, too, it's anyway there. He recorded in the dictaphone and then that was decoded and book was formed. So that is also hearing. But what happens? Uh, that is not so pronounced unless purity of heart is there. That's why Prabhupada says na, in that Nityam Bhagavad Seva, there are two types of Bhagavads. Book Bhagavat and Person Bhagavat. So Book Bhagavat is also correcting us and destroying our anathas. But we are not so well tuned with it as much as Person Bhagavat because he can catch our ear and correct us. Whereas Book Bhagavat is also catching our ear but we will not feel it. So my ear remains straight only and uh, I don't feel the pinch or trouble, pain over there. But Person Bhagavat will directly correct. Prabhu, what a fool. You are a Shudra Dham. What? Not Shudra, Shudra Dham. I am the lowest of Shudras. He will be very heavy. 
so purification will be faster and so reading no problem we have to read because all the time hearing facility just like now this class is ending now you cannot hear you can hear recorded lecture and all that but this class will end now so we can read prabhupada books we can open them start reading you can hear prabhupada prabhupada is ready to give 24 hours class speaker like me <laughs> with limitations will end it sometime or the other yes any other uh wait, this is for them particularly yes anything online nobody checked anyway is there anything in the chat box no you're so confident <laughs> Achha, you have the access okay fine i don't know what technology it can be operated from two laptops okay hmm. kim purush they have a half man and half uh, what uh, uh, monkey monkey body so when you see them you know kim purush Huh? So another word for them is kinnara. Nara means purush only. Are these human beings? But they appear like monkey also. So naturally, when one sees them, oh, are they humans? Kim purusha or kinnara? Because they have uh, that monkey-like body also and human-like. Just like nursing, there is half man, half lion. Like that, these people are nursing. They was for temporarily for that. But otherwise, these people are all throughout their existence like that only. So that's why they are Kim Purushas. Half man or partly human beings and partly monkeys. Prabhupada not allowing themselves to uh, go to hospital yeah. and getting treated by... So... I understood the intentions, but uh, it's practically uh, is, it is, is left it, to you. You is decide. It, is it a whenever you are, cylinder? especially in the last stage, whether you would be taken to hospital or not? That is your decision only. If you want to be taken to hospital, you will take you to hospital. If you don't want to be taken to hospital, you want to be here only in ashram. Let me leave my body whenever time comes but, in ashram itself. But if someone goes to hospital, that not necessarily means that is a lack of surrender or something. No. No, no. Basically, great souls, pure devotees, advanced devotees, Krishna dictates them how should they deal with the whole thing. So they may deal. Just like Bhakti Raksha Siddhamadara is not some ordinary person. He's a pure devotee. Hmm. So he allowed himself to be taken to hospital. Also, sometimes other devotees may request, like for his oldness, Bhakti Charu Maharaj, he was completely against to be taken to hospital. But when he got COVID in uh, South America, and uh, what is that uh, place? Orlando. So there, uh, other god brothers came to know. So they called Maharaj. Maharaj, please don't deny hmm, to be taken to hospital. Please accept. So because god brothers requested, they are represented by Prabhupada. So, and they were, some of them were GPCs also. So he only always would say, no? always follow GPCs. <laughs> so Prabhupada also had instructed. So he allowed to be taken to hospital. That last time whatever inspires you, you may do. Different individuals will have different stand and they are allowed that. Okay. Rantra Shrimad Bhagavatam ki jai Shila Prabhupada ki jai Samaveta Gaurabhakturundaki jai Nitai Gurpremanandi